Hey, we're back again. Big Geek Quiz. That's Monkey Bum. No, no that's Monkey Bum. I'll, I'll never get that right. <laughs> point that way, point that way. Uh, how is everybody doing? So, Abby says she's got the copper burger at the ready. Nice and chilled. Nice one. Sean's here this week. No football on, Sean. Is that what it is? No football? Make it this week. Uh, he's on his second glass of wine and he's got snacks at the ready. Pan is wondering where the quiz masters are at. Wait, we're here. Wait, you know, I, I can see me. You can see, yeah. uh, Google hasn't arrived yet. That's true. Well, Google's always always around. Uh, Hugh Fair's here as well. That's Monkey Bum. Uh, have Hugh Fair, have you never seen Monkey Bum? Monkey Bum has been on my stream before now. So. I'm sure Hugh Fair's yeah. only one of the VR ones we did. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, uh, my mum's here now, Christine's here now, fantastic. Uh, we've got a good stream ahead of us. I, oh, I say it's a good stream ahead of us, we'll wait and see on that one. It could be <laughs> a complete and utter flop. I have done have some mad coding. Have confidence in yourself. I wanted to change one of the, the quiz questions tonight, but I may have to save that for next week. Uh, unless I can find some time to, uh, to speed that in I've been found out. You've been found the out? The original Monkey Bomb is on the stream. Mm -hmm. This is true. Oh, hello there. The original, the one, the true, the only Monkey Bomb, apart from the, the fake imposter over here. The only true monkey We've got a fake imposter over here. How are you Sorry. doing there? Uh, evening, Chris. How's it going? We're, we're starting a little bit later today because I had to find the fix like my whole quiz because I've been doing a lot of work on it to try and improve <laughs> it and make it better. Why, isn't there? Uh, the, what? There's a reason why. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like, I've, I've changed so much. Yeah, yeah. I've changed so much of it. So if it if it breaks, then it's only in tradition because you know all my other quizzes have gone horribly wrong at times. So. We can only wait and see. Uh, you had some technical difficulties. Do you know what? We had technical difficulties as well, so it's all good. But what I will say is if there is any problems, like if you if the, the music's too loud or if uh, you, you can't hear us or if we disappear or something goes wrong, uh, please do let us know. Okay? Because um, I'm just going to keep going otherwise. So I <laughs> think this crossed it. Everything goes smoothly. Uh, should we should we move over? Uh, Monkey Bum, you haven't even seen this new design. New... I haven't. No, I've heard of it. No, but I've not even seen it. Yeah, just just seen it. Uh, so here we go. Let, let's um, let's head over there and, and check out the uh, new. I'm excited. Hey, we've swapped sides again. There we go. I should I should have just left myself on ah. that side, shouldn't I? I should have left myself on the other side. Uh, so worked, yeah. yeah. Uh, but doesn't matter. It is what it is. I feel like I'm. I should be over here. This is my space. Yeah. My side. Uh, Google is here. Let's go. Yep. You're right, Nano. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay. Um, I'm really hoping Viv's gonna be here today, but I have a feeling she may be busy. Uh, as it's somebody's birthday today. So if uh, if Viv does appear, we all need to um spam the chat with a happy birthday for her. Yeah. So, um okay. Uh are we all ready to uh to just to just crack on? We we see how it goes. And fingers crossed everything will work fine. I'm still tempted to go and um change one of the, the quiz questions. <laughs> I feel like I need I feel like I do need to. And I think Monkey Bum's got um, a, a story prepared later on when I when I need to go. <laughs> run to the toilet. Potential couple of options. Potential couple of options. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Um. No, it's not. This is this is my background. I decided it. Uh. Right. Okay. Let's uh. Let's quickly change one of the quiz questions. Uh, because it's it's fun, it's a giggle, it's a laugh. Uh, and you just need to find the question. Let's go with, let's remove that question. See, people can get and see the inner workings of the quiz being built right now. I know, right? And this, is, this isn't because you've made a mistake, like normally. This is because you want to change something. 
Uh, yeah, this is actually a quiz question I came up with today, just off the top of my head. Uh, and it's it, it's fun. Right, cool. There we go. Quiz question changed. I'll save the other one for next week. Uh, right, okay. It is indeed a smoothie. Uh, courtesy of Floydy Bakes It. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Just to close this one. <laughs> the fact that the, green, the lid's green, so it's... <laughs> I'm mixing in with your green screen. <laughs> is it disappearing? Oh, this is great. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It is actually. I mean, you can't it, see. There is um, there is a lid there, as you can it's see. A green lid. <laughs> so that's going to be fun to. I knew I should have got the pink ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Let's um. We're, we're five minutes late to start, and everybody who I think is going to be joining in tonight is here. Uh, hopefully we'll see some more people join in as well uh, as as the evening uh, goes on. Uh, let's uh, let's load up the rounds. So first first of the new transitions that we've got here. I've, I've worked hard on this. I have worked hard on this. It has. Well, that's oh, hey slides off slides on. How cool is that? Uh, nice. It's not that cool, is it? Really not that exciting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So let's just just my screen so that I can read the questions when they come out. Uh, okay, so as you can see, we have a few different um, rounds today. We've got the board games round, which is uh, similar to the games round, but we're just going focused on board games. Uh, we've got the blocks round. It's a nice image round. We've got general knowledge. Uh, we've got the silhouettes round. Uh, that should be that should be fun as well. Kinda, basically, I called it silhouettes, but I should have maybe called it, you know, Who's that Pokemon? No, who's that character? Because I've done it in different characters in that kind of sort of fashion. Uh, we've got the emoji round again. That's always good fun. Name that object. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll get to that round. I'll explain that one. Uh, there's a Pixar round. So the, the theme today is Pixar. Uh, okay. We've got Dingbats. I don't know if anybody's played Dingbats or had a go at Dingbats before, but they're always good fun. Uh, so fingers crossed uh, people will enjoy that round. And we have the Anagrams round as well. because That's always... Um, a favorite of uh no one's okay <laughs> so <laughs> uh, i think i think din likes it and that's about it but din's din not like here so yeah exactly so uh, uh like okay find him hard. Uh, yeah yeah I, and again i have themes themes behind them uh, I but know let's this week uh, so we oh so... yeah you do this just feels strongly about this thing uh like okay <laughs> let's let's move on and start the board games round So, question one. With which board game would you associate Bernard, Eric, Franz, Maria, and Anita? Look at that, it's going off my screen. I told you something would go wrong. Oh, no. I know. Just not happy about that. Push it back. I can't. Hopefully that'll be the only one that'll have a problem, but I have a feeling it's not. I really should have, um, I, I just needed a little bit more time. That's all it was. I needed a little bit more time to get the, uh, the coding right. I was in enough hours in the morning is the early hours of the morning. Oh, just, three three o'clock, three thirty in the morning. That's what I've been working to. Into bed. Right. <laughs> it's true. Uh okay, so I'm gonna leave that question up and we'll move on to the next one. It's probably gonna break again, but I will try to fix as we go along. Hello, good luck, and uh, thanks Abby. I appreciate that you like the design. Uh I've tried to incorporate a lot of loaded stuff, but I just need to get that little bit so it doesn't like fall off the end here. So I need to code that. So I'm gonna be coding wild quizzing so this should be fun uh, anyways like that... okay when you first put the question up and then it went off yeah i know it kind of broke as as the question yeah i don't know uh, so... yeah yeah question number one then uh with which board game would you associate <laughs> bernard eric franz maria and anita hello tyler welcome to the stream yeah they're all broken feel like having to reload it i might have to reload these let's let's just reload if i can so hopefully it won't break it, it, it was fine 
and then it decides, nah, hey, nah, I don't oh. want to. I don't know. I don't know why it does that. What did I do? What did I do wrong? <laughs> oh, one of those days. I right. Let's go with. Right. I'm gonna reload it again in a second once I've fixed these. Uh, right. Let's see if that works. I may have to reload the whole thing though. Uh. uh let's just reload the whole. I do apologize for this. It won't be like this next week. There we go. Refreshed. Okay. Let's get back to the board games. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, it still broke a little bit. I don't know why, but it's better. I, I will yeah, I will look into fit I will look into fixing that. I don't know why it's doing that. Um yeah, I changed it from something that was already working to why something that's now why broken. Is it still broke? I, that look, that's not broke. It still changed no, it, 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 where it, the text it, was after the transition. Yeah, oh, exactly. Okay. So I didn't see that. Uh, then. Anyway, it seems to be working now, so crack off. Yeah. Actually, I think I know what it was. <laughs> this is an insight again. If anybody wants me to um, teach them how to code, you really probably shouldn't, because <laughs> right, because clearly I'm, I'm rubbish at coding. Right, let's let's do one more refresh, and if it's if it's still broken this time, aha, success. Right, that was question one. Let's move on to question two. <laughs> Question two, the expression factor square one is believed to come from which board game? Yeah, yeah, uh, I suppose I am qualified to teach and to uh, the program. But as you've seen from my programming skills today, uh, well, no, I suppose I just fixed it live on stream. Yeah. This, this is amazing, I love this. Why have you just broken something else? Yeah, I, I, I'm really enjoying this whole drinking thing. <laughs> You're glad that you forgot to take your smoothie to work now. <laughs> I know, it's great. But there you, you go, that was. Start using that bottle every week. <laughs> I know, right? That's question number two. The expression back to square one is believed to come from which board game? I might put a different sticker on the bottle every week so that it just shows a sticker floating. <laughs> just paint it green. Uh, question three. In the game of backgammon, how many counters? Does each player have at the start? Where's the rum gone? Uh, the rum gone. The rum has gone at the moment, but it will be coming back uh, once I finish this. This invisible drink. Uh, and hello there, serial quizzer. Welcome to the stream. Uh, fingers crossed you will uh, hit the top spot here. We've got Liz and Dan, who are the. Uh, the winners so far, so let's see how they do this week. Seven questions uh, per round. That's question number three. In the game of backgammon, how many counters does each player have at the start? Question number four. Which board game consists of plastic cars and pink and blue people pegs? I haven't tried the Copperberg Cherry Rum yet. I really do want to try that. That is something that I'm very interested in. Chug it then and get rumming. It, it's true. I probably should, but... <laughs> it's true. And I'll be back and forth <laughs> out of the room. <laughs> and, and you'll hear about six or seven stories from Monkey Bum. changing my code again <laughs> I'm still fixing uh, you can in, you can de participate all you got to do is write down the uh, answers to the questions uh, as we go through the rounds and then contribute to the answer the answers um, when we go through the answer part of the you know questions so we'll go through the yeah. questions then we'll go through the answers don't, don't write the questions in the chat do it on a piece of paper or something or on your phone and then 
to go through the questions afterwards. Azdek, 18 pound. Ooh. Yes, we got Azdek tomorrow. Uh, so that's question four. Which board game consists of plastic cars and pink and blue people pegs? Question five, in what game do you have to pull a wood block from a stack? I think that one's quite an easy one. So Serial Quizzer, I do apologize. I know you're new to the to the channel here. Uh, I do apologize if my stream is broken. Um, I say that my quiz is broken because I've I coded it in, well, a week. I've spent one week coding and doing a million other things as well, so it's kind of not proofread in the code. Yeah, working part-time so well, yeah. Yeah, Hard. yeah, so it's a, it's a working progress. I'll have it even more improved and fixed and better by next week. I like the design. I think it feels more quizzy. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so that was question number five. In what game do you have to pull a wood block from a stack. Question number six. Which game involves rolling an alphabetical die and making a list before the timer goes off? I only know this game since I met you had never heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> so you know this one then. I like this game. It's a good game, but I'd never ever heard, never even heard of it until I met Chris. I've also, uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll say what I was going to say when we go through the answers. Uh, so yeah, question number six there. Which game involves rolling an alphabetical die and making a list before the timer goes off? And question number seven, and the question of this round. How many triangles are on a backgammon board? Second backgammon question there. <laughs> and my dad's like, we have it sat beside us. You only have it sat beside you if it's the right answer. and quiz at the same time <laughs> uh, okay so that was question seven how many triangles are on a backgammon board uh let's uh and, and, and then when i click next it does this finished end of category but then we we know it's the end without me having to move on and then break break the, the whole thing again uh nice. yeah cool right uh okay so this is where i need to click that button and it takes me back to question one. I, I've recoded my whole control panel too. Oh, and now I'm not used to it. So we've got here question number one. With which board game would you associate Bernard, Eric, Franz, Maria and Anita? And this this right here, Serial Quizzer, is where you get to put up your answers. Uh, and if anybody else wants to join in with that. Okay. Uh, and Yes, have you already started drinking rum? <laughs> I know. I told you last week when I was typing to Tim, I cannot spell. <laughs> I get excited. <laughs> Sean, Sean has gone in with an answer. What uh, did you just get? Something there, Monkey Ball? We've got two answers. Ooh, We've two got answers. a Tim answer and a Jess answer. All right, Tim answer. Both, sen both sensible. Tim sensible. Tim answer was mouse trap. Okay. And my answer was Cluedo. Yeah, okay. We didn't know. Uh, so Sean, Sean's gone with Sean's gone with Guess Who. Uh, Chris B with Jumanji. <laughs> uh, Abby's going with Cluedo. Uh, Monkey Bum, the real Monkey Bum. I've got you, Monkey Bum. Uh, she, she's also gone with Guess Who. Tina's <sighs> gone with Guess Who. Let's, uh, let's show the answer. It's Guess Who. Or for <laughs> other people in the world, who's it? And there's other names of the this game now, isn't there? So, yeah, there is, yeah. yeah. But it's Guess Who. Guess Who's the answer. So well done to uh, those who got that. Question number two. 
The expression back to square one is believed to come from which board game? Yes, mum, it was guess who, well done. We put snakes and ladders. Uh, as well that's as funny because in the chat that are coming through. That's because uh Chris B has also put snakes and ladders. Yeah. Serial quizzer has also gone with snakes and ladders. And as he's a serial quizzer, I'm guessing he's gonna have the answer right. Uh my parents have gone with it as well. Uh Liz uh, has gone with it. Monkey Bum's gone with it, Tina, yeah, Sean, or everyone's putting snakes and ladders. Snakes and ladders is the correct answer. Well done. And I think Abby said she likes the green background. Thank you. I felt like it was like a correct, like success. So I went with the green stem instead of the blue. Question number three. In the game of backgammon, how many counters does each player have at the start? <laughs> Do you have an answer for this? Uh, we have a guess. Okay, and your guess? He's wrong, probably. 16. <laughs> I've never 16 played is what you're going with. I don't even know what it is. Fair enough. Uh, Sean's gone with 15. Abby, 16. Monkey Bum has gone with... Uh, see, I'm going to have to just call it Naomi because people are just going to get confused. <laughs> Sorry there, Naomi. And you are, you are, Naomi is the official Monkey Bum there, but Naomi, you've gone with yeah. uh, 15. Christine with 15, Liz, Crispy, Tina, Serial Quizette, all gone with 15 there. The answer's 15. Well done. Correct. Question number four. Which board game consists of plastic cars and pink and blue people pegs? Do you know this one? Uh, no. 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 I love Jeff, this you game. You thought you could, didn't you? You thought you could. I can picture it in my head. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I can't. I, I don't know. Uh, so we've got four answers already. Very quick off the mark there. From Sean, Naomi, Abby, and Liz. Uh, also, I, Serial Quizzer in there. All with Game of Life. I've never played that. Never no, neither played have it. I. A, sort of it, never played it. It, it is such oh, is a the great game. Is that you put them in the car? Yep. Yeah. That's exactly the one. So, Game Sorry, of Life. Well done to everybody who got that. Absolutely spot on. Question number five. In what game do you have to pull a wood block from a stack? And Hello, Chef. welcome, Chef. How are you doing? Uh, we're good, thank you. Well, I say I'm good, Monkey Bum. I'm good. There you go. We're Chef. both good. And uh, Chef is in very quick with the answer Jenga. Uh, Pan saying it's game of life. It's it, it just ga ga game of life. Uh, Jenga, 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 Jenga. Every, you're sweaty in the kitchen. I'm sweaty in my office room right now. It is warm. Uh, yes, obviously, Jenga is the correct answer. Well done, to everybody there. Jenga ain't no board game. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, if you speak to my mum, any bit of wood, right, is can be classed as a board. Hello, sales, Jenga, but it's only fun in a beer garden after a, after several refreshments. Yes, I think after a after one or two um, alcoholic beverages, uh, playing a bit of Jenga is always good fun. Uh, Monkey Bum, do you remember when uh, at our old employment we played massive Jenga, those big blocks? We did, yeah. It was like that was the great tower fun. Was like six or seven foot high, wasn't it? Yeah, I, yeah, it was higher than us. We couldn't reach the top to put yeah, the pieces it, it, on. The block was basically the same size as a brick you'd buy for a house. It was huge. Exactly. Great. Uh, question six. Which game involves rolling an alphabetical die and making a list before the timer goes off? Oh, my dad's saying Jenga is a game if you are bored. But it's a bored game. Uh, fair okay. enough. I was going to buy Jenga today, mm -hmm. and I was going to paint it, and then I was going to do different things on each thing for you, and you pull out you have to do. Oh, right. Wow, that's an interesting stream. But I didn't <laughs> do it. Uh, Chef saying hi, Tickles. Who is? Chef. Chef is. Hello! <laughs> And Naomi is in there quickly with categories. I say quickly, no one else is putting up any answers. 
But Naomi's gone with categories. I feel like I'm being shown up by my little sister right now. Because Naomi's getting more answers right than I have been. I was going to say, but the good. thing, I was going to say, Naomi, you are out to beat Monkey Bum here and claim uh, yeah. your rightful I, place I as the official that. Monkey Bum. Just trying to claim the name, but that's what it is. Sail, Sail Browse thought it was Boggle. Ah, you, do you know what? You, you, you're not you're not far off, you know, um, with that. Uh, but you uh, roll an alphabetical dice, just one. It's not multiple. And then you make a list. So the answer there is categories. Hold on. I think I actually might have double T. But, you know, I code wrong, I spell wrong. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, question number seven. How many triangles there are, on the, are there on a backgammon board? Yeah, everybody's got categories on that one. Well done. Once you wrote Boggle, you were close, but it re Boggle requires more. But I am currently coding a Boggle game, and I have coded a Scattergrues game. So if anybody's interested, I mean, I could maybe uh, do a stream one day where we actually just have a big game, Scattergrues. It should be quite good fun on stream, and people can join in. And you would join in on your phone as well. So you, you take the answer in your phone. I don't know how it, I don't know how it'll work perfectly, but we can try and make it work. Uh, everybody seems to be going with the uh, the answer twenty four here. What, what, what about you two? Uh, yeah, we, we want twenty four, didn't we? Yeah, we want twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. The answer is twenty four. So well done to everybody on that one, and that is the end of that category. So seven questions, seven points up for grabs. How did everybody do? Uh, my brother's saying, I guess everyone loves a bit of backgammon. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Maybe that's what we should do, Monkey Bum. Sit on here and just play backgammon on a stream. Just two of us. <laughs> Please, can you? Because I don't know what backgammon is, so... Oh, it's, a, it's a great game. Do you know, like, you know, like, drafts? Yeah? Or yeah. Checkers, yeah, yeah. as it's known. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nothing like that. It's basically it's only similar in the sense that it's on a board. Um so we've got Liz there with six out of seven. Well done, very good start. Uh Christine with four out of seven, Chris B with five out of seven, Naomi there with seven out of seven, taking the number one spot so far. Well played, Naomi. Uh then we've got Abby with four out of six, Sean with six out of seven. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. There is seven questions, Abby. Well done. So it's four out of seven. Uh, Pan's also with four out of seven. So it, it's anybody's game at the moment. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to move on to the blocks round now. Hopefully this will be broken. If it is, I will have to refresh the page and try again. Uh, so here we go. Move on to the blocks round. Uh, oh, my dad and my dad's got five and uh, Tina and Sean have got six. So well done. Move on to the blocks round. So there they are. There's the blocks. So yeah. I've just got a message of my sister going, whoop whoop, show off. <laughs> big show off. Hey, look, if she can do it, why not? I think she's got help though. I she, think she's it's not, listing it's not, sh it's not show off. It's showing you up. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay, so there's some blocks on the screen, and they are—they uh, look like some. Thing. So figure out what it is. I think that one's quite easy. I think that one's pretty easy. I like it. I think it's quite effective. It, it, it's right, isn't it? It's exactly what it is. Theme? Is uh, well, it's character char characters. You know, it's it's the same as it was last week. I mean, it's like I say, I say, I say, I say, these are all going to be like characters of some sort, but they'll be from a, a movie or a film or a, a, a movie or film, the same thing, uh, or a series or something or other that you can relate to. A variety of different platforms yeah. of which you could get involved with. Yeah. So that there is question number one. Let's move on to question number two. Someone's going to clear this one, the Twitch. Chat. I, think, I think this one's harder. I think this one's a bit harder. And to be honest, after I made this one, I thought, hmm, it could almost be a, a there could, there's two answers this could be, but I think the one on the left 
would be slightly different. They, they would they would be slightly different in colours. Got it. I know it. But they're not far off. Jesse Jess has got it. I was going to say that Twitch. You said there was a message on the Twitch chat. I haven't. That hasn't come through for me. Uh, we just just kind of kind of giving it a little bit of a hint, which I thought was quite normal. And Jess, I'm going to go with that. I think, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. On I'm going over to the Twitch chat to see if it's still there. I can see it. No, I can't. It's for the first yeah, one. I don't know uh, okay. Oh, Let's see the answers. Okay, so uh, you're thinking Liz might struggle this week with blocks? Maybe, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. So that was question number two. Question number three. Easy. Dead easy. 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 Got it. Got it. We're going to get Sean's... seven out of seven. <laughs> Sean's saying that he's lost the plot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what, Sean? I'll be joining you soon. I'm going to finish this off and then out, out comes the rum. Oh, Liz thinks, Liz, Liz thinks uh, my brother's right on that one. I, I, I love this sort of invisible body thing going on. Like, it's like I can't even show you the green because it's gone. <coughs> Okay, we'll move on from that one because that one's a really easy one. Question number four. I don't think those are too difficult. Hmm. Oh, let's go. Let's dump this one. Hmm. I, 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 I would say this one is not. I wouldn't say I it's I easy, <laughs> but I wouldn't say it's really hard either. And I think it does look quite like the uh, the character when you know. Yeah. The only thing I can think of, Jess. Yeah. Let's go with it. An agreement. All right, cool. Okay, so that, that's uh, question number four there. Let's move on to question number five. Hmm. Ooh. You can see there that uh, Monkey Bum's kind of... He's looking at it going... Right. There's quite a lot to work with here, but... What is it? Hmm. I think it's pretty good. Not perfect, I don't think, but it's, it's pretty good. Okay, that's question number five. Question number six. Anybody get this wrong, then just leave my quiz now. <laughs> You're just not allowed to get this one wrong. Has Jess put, put a silly answer? Is it just being a silly one tonight? No, something else. Oh, Alright, fair enough. My bad. You said, oh. you're going to get this wrong. You won't be happy. She was going to. Oh, right. <laughs> to be fair, Christine's gone. Bye. I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when it gets to the answer. Do you know what, what Christine? Maybe you just haven't seen this, but... I think it's quite, oh, and Chris B is saying, yep, I'm off. <laughs> no, please stay, please stay. There's more rounds, there's more rounds. It'll be fine. When, when we I get just, to the I just answers, personally I'll think tell this you who I easy. thought it was, and you'll, you'll see where I'm coming from. All right. Okay, maybe, maybe then. I, I'm thinking this is dead easy, because I, maybe I could just act I know, and maybe they are a little bit more complicated than I thought. Uh, question number seven. Now, this one, I think this one's very niche. Oh, yes. Oh, Monkey Bum's got it. Straight I away. Had, I had a game of it on the Game Boy. Licorice all sorts. Yes. <laughs> I suppose they do. <laughs> 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 
Yes, so what's this? These are licorice all sorts. <laughs> Fantastic. I like this one. I think that looks, um, I think that's really good. You've done a good job on that one, yeah. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, I think they're really good. Did you have you made them? Yeah, I had to sit there and draw them out. No way. Yep. Oh, is that why you were in bed at like four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> my, my brother my brother said he yeah, exactly. My brother said he got that instantly. I think you had the same reaction as what probably what Monkey Bum did when he saw it and went, got it. No, no, this one is. Yes, fantastic. And uh, Sail Browse. Uh, do you know what? Oh, I say Sail Browse. It's Sail Bro US, isn't it? That's what it is. Sail Bro US. Uh, then, uh, yeah, fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm really glad you're enjoying this. Uh, it's always good fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, you'll have to share it out and tell other people about it and get them involved. Too. Uh, okay, so that was question number seven. Let's go uh, to the end of the round. Oh, Salah Bruce. Sal, I'm gonna call you Sal just to make it slightly easier. And it's gone again. Oh, so you, you had you got one, and then you were like, "I'm starting to get the hang of this." Now it's gone. Whatever floats you bought. Thank you, Sal. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's because they look like licorice all sorts. We all thought it was licorice all sorts. Yeah, everyone's everyone saw licorice all sorts, and everyone was like, "No, that's it. I can't see anything. I can't unsee licorice all sorts now." All sorts. <laughs> Um, my brother's thrown in there. Oh my days! Uh, I need I need some little emotes for my uh, Twitch side. Uh, okay, so we've got question number one there. Uh, come on, easy one. Come on, Jess. What, what what have you got? It's Sonic and Tails. It's Sonic and Tails, and let's see what the chat have got to say about that, if they even speak. <laughs> uh. Naomi's gone with uh, Sonic and Tails. I'm glad you knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> this would be like, I would be disappointed in my sister if she didn't. Although, I would be I'm very upset with her. I'm curious to know if, if my sister knew that or my parents knew that. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go with your sister. I'm giving her the credit. Whether, I don't know whether she's ever played it. You see, that's the thing. Whereas I know my mum and dad would have Sean, it. Sean's like, oh my gosh, it's obvious now. <laughs> he, he sees it. He's like, oh, that's what it is. You know, he's got his beer goggles on at the moment and they're just a bit blurry. Um, yeah. <laughs> now he's seen the first answer, he realizes what he's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, I figured it out. I get I get this game now. This makes sense. Yeah. Um, and Naomi said it was her. It was her that figured it out. Well done. Fair enough. Uh, right. My brother said Sorry. it was Sonic and Tails. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, uh, we've got a, a friend of ours, uh, Diane. Uh, she watches them tomorrow, uh, something like that. And if you're watching this yeah. back, Chris, Chris doesn't have a clue. Chris <laughs> B did not have a clue on that one. Uh, okay, let's move on to question number two. Question number two was uh, this one. Right, okay, so have you got. Yes, Jesse, it was you that jumped in and went, I've got it this. Was... It, I, um, Tom and Jerry. I thought it was a good answer to go for. I like it, I like it. But then you were but, saying that it looks like someone else, but I don't know who else it looks like. Uh, Nicola Halliday has also gone in with Sonic on that other one. So, yeah, well done. Okay. Uh, the other one that... Right, now, so... It, I'm going to put up the answer, but I, I will... I'll, I'll tell you who I think it is before, so you can see what it looks like. And But the, the left one would be more black, and the right one would be more yellow. And that's why you'd be going Sylvester and Tweety. Oh, okay. I'm with uh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get you know. Yeah. yeah. So, so you could could slightly go wrong with this one if you if you saw Sylvester and Tweety and you went, that's it. But Sil yeah. Sylvester's more black. Yeah. So I get it now. Yeah. But but you're absolutely spot on there. It is Tom and Jerry. So wasn't Tom blue? No. No, Tom, was Tom wasn't blue. Tom was well, gray. actually, to be fair, in some of the series, some of the shows, and I think he was. One, he does look blue. Yeah. But he's like a very close to. Great. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I do know what you're on about there. Mum, did you say it was twins because you thought it was Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito? <laughs> I like that idea. That's quite clever. I like it. I like it. I like that. Uh, we'll look saying he's not blue, bruh. Uh, yeah, Tom's not blue. Uh, Naomi and uh, Liz. Uh, my parents there as well, straight in with the Flintstones. I think that's spot on for the Flintstones, isn't it? That looks great. I think you've got a good job there. I'm really good. 
yeah, I started and then I just stopped. I just went, no, I'm not. I'm not. It's, it was. It became. It became too complicated. So. Uh, the Flintstones is correct. Well done to everybody there who got that spot on. Uh, moving on to question number four. All right, interesting one. Only answer on this round, the Flintstones. Well, well done, Christine. You got the Flintstones on that one. Uh, what are we thinking here? Monkey Bum, you had an answer. I went with the Karate Kid because I wasn't sure. I was like, I'm, that's something I'm going to go for. Okay, I see where you're going with I'll, that. I see where you're going with that. Yeah, I, I don't, it's the only thing I could think of. Mm -hmm. uh, Sal has put up an answer. He's gone, this is Rambo. Oh, okay. I like that. I quite like that. Answer. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if anybody else has got an answer for this one. Wait for the chat there. I don't think we uh, do. My mum's, mum's asking, does uh, Chris B get it now? Does he understand how the work game that this round works? <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody else got an answer for that one. So, uh, oh, Naomi went with Inspector Cluso. Oh, okay. I, I see where you're going with that. Uh, the answer is Rambo. So well done, Sal. Absolutely spot on. Nice work. Uh, moving on to question number five. Now, did this one puzzle you, Monkey Bum? It did for a while, but I thought of something later on. Like, like after my question seven, I was like, oh, it could be that. And I, I just now look, it, it, it definitely is. Now looking at, and again, do you not think that this is really good? As soon as I realised what I thought it was, I was like, that is very good. I get how you've done it, how it works. I thought it's very impressive. I think the clue is in the ruby red slippers there. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't even oh, notice them until you just said that. Yeah, exactly. See, I, I gave clues. I gave clues. There, there, there are clues there. Uh, so we've got Liz there with Wizard of Oz very quickly. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Uh, just be I, uh, Highlander. I get the theory, but don't know any of the answers. I thought this one might be Postman Pat. Um, I think that was on the last one. Uh, Naomi's there with Wizard of Oz. Abby, uh, Nicola Halliday as well there with Wizard of Oz. Chef said it's Dorothy, which yeah, you know what it, you know where it's coming from. Wizard of Oz, absolutely spot on. So obviously I had to record this um, whole thing so that I could actually make the images bigger so you could see them more clearly. So uh, yeah, I think I think I've done a good job of that. Make sure that machine's working. Uh, Chris B. Uh, Christine. Do you know what this one is? Actually, let me go to Jess. Jess, <laughs> what did you think this one was? <laughs> Please don't kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Pluto the dog from Disney because he's got the green collar and he's yellow. It's a big collar. It's got a, it's a yeah, it's got a, I, get, I do get your thought, I do get your thought. I get where you're going, sort of. But as the chat is saying, Nicola very quickly there with the mask. Liz, Sean, Tina. Abby says the mask. Couldn't get that wrong. Uh Chef's gone with mask. Uh Naomi's also the mask. Uh and Abby said she only watched it a few weeks ago. Uh, I actually I think, think you did. I, I remember seeing a post up. Yeah, because I did a I did a quiz question yeah. on the mask uh, not long ago as well. Ah, my dad's gone with the mask as well. Now, to be I think I've only seen it once, yeah. so I think that means. And then Chris there's the other, there's the third it. one, isn't there? Like baby of the mask or something. Or... No, um, that's the second one. Is that the second one? Yeah. All oh, right. Well, yeah, that was now. Uh, yeah. uh Okay, so that was question number six, and the final one. Uh, Crispy's like, oh, I see the mask now. He gets it. Yeah. yeah. See. I think the more you it's, do, it's so obvious. Around, people kind of get how they work. So. Yeah. And then the last one, which is the one I'm actually the most proud of. I am the mo this is one I am most proud of in, in what I've done. Yeah. Uh, my brother said it's smoking. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing he's relating to the uh, the, mask. the mask there. Um, so what have we got here? Uh, Sal has gone in with Animaniacs, yes. those are the facts. Oh yeah, uh, and and again, Monkey Bum saw this one instantly. Was just like, it's perfect. It's just I missing their eyes. That's it all it's missing. Uh, Crispy's gone with licorice all sorts, uh, which is what Jess said it looked like. So you know, <laughs> you see where you're going with that. Uh, my brother's also in there with Animaniacs as well. Uh, can you remember their names? 
Ooh. This is not a bonus point. The blue one. Naomi said Super Mario, no clue. Naomi have been too young for, for the anime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know who this Gwilic, was. Gwilic thought it was Karate him. Kid. No, wait. Sal. Well, there's, Sal's gone with the answer. Karate Kid has three sons, didn't it? Or three yeah, yeah, yeah. Karate Kids. So, do, you, do you know the names? Uh, I knew the one that began with O. A Y. Yep. <laughs> Sean's saying pick a mix. Pick a mix. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we have from from left to right there, uh, as uh, Sal has said, uh, we've got Dot, who's the youngest, the, the girl. You got yeah. Yako, which is the one in the middle, the one beginning with the, the, the Y, and then we've got Wacko, who always had a big hammer. Uh, yeah, and was absolutely and bonkers. So absolutely spot on to everybody who got that. Uh, Animaniacs and Liz is there singing the song right now. I know. Um, and I would definitely recommend you go and check out their uh, song on like geography. They did a big geography yeah. thing. It was absolutely brilliant. Oh, uh, yes. Well done. Seven questions. Um, let's uh, last name Warner. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Fucker Warner. Because uh, uh, they had the Warner Bros. And sister. <laughs> uh, well, didn't they? Yep. Okay. So what's the scores have we got? Uh, Nano saying got zero. Zero Nano. Is that because you weren't here? Um, Abby's there with 5 out of 7 Good effort, really well done Tina with 2, Liz got 5 out of 7 uh, Sean 2 out of 7 And you guys got 6, excellent yeah. My brother's there yeah. saying he got uh, 7 out of 7 uh, Abby said they, you got 5 out of 7 Are you trying to trying to Steal some extra points there mate? Or are you <laughs> not working as a team anymore? Oh, Nano just wanted to drop a donut in the quiz. We got a zero. Um, <laughs> Nicola there with three. Good effort. Crispy, one. Wasn't your round, but we know that there's going to be more rounds coming up. I'm sure you'll do well. Christine can't get uh, this round, but you got one. That's great. I mean, getting one, it's better than getting none, like Nano did. Uh, <laughs> Unless you like donuts. Okay. Let's do another question round. General knowledge. This is usually a popular one. An uh, annoying one. Question one. WWE wrestler Triple H <laughs> is also known as what other alias? Do you know this one, Monkey Bum? I know. I, I can pitch the guy. Um, I'm trying to go through think of anything, but I don't remember him as anything like Triple H. I didn't watch much wrestling. Um... I think there was a period when I watched when it was WCW and then you had WCW and WWE or WWF actually at the time and he was in WWF now it was WCW but I can't remember Hunter Hearn Hensley uh, that's his name isn't it something like that yeah yeah it's not quite his uh, his other alias but his alias is brilliant. Anyways, that's question number one. Have a think on that. Question number two. What does VAT stand for? I think uh, I think Nicola knew that that wasn't the right answer, so she was just saying that you know <laughs> she's she's gonna know this one. Does VAT stand for? <laughs> Google looks like oh, God, one, I, one I know. Uh, Naomi, you will enjoy <laughs> question one. Uh, trust me. <laughs> question number three. It is said that the Tower of London and the Crown are protected by six resident what? Well played, Doug Willock. Well played. He's getting some answers. He knows. He knows them. He knows them.
Have you got some random answers? <laughs> no, it's Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Typical, typical. Okay, so question three there. It said that the Tower of London and the Crown are protected by six resident what? Question number four. How many years of marriage is celebrated by a pearl wedding anniversary? And I believe anybody who's got to this point will know the answer. You know, in their relationships. So question four there, how many years of marriage is celebrated by a pearl wedding anniversary? Question number five, what plant is usually found in a classic mojito cocktail? <laughs> I think the alcoholic is, I was going to say, the alcoholic has just piped up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rude, I don't even <laughs> like a mojito. <laughs> Purely Naomi, for this reason. Naomi's saying that. Uh, <laughs> Naomi's going, my mum and dad. No. My mum and dad know. And Tim's. Oops. <laughs> they know the answer. <laughs> and I think Jess knows this one. Which one? I, 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 the this, this one. one. I would have guessed this, but uh, Jess was on it. Yeah, so I yeah. figured. Don't have to think about it. I'll leave it to it. So there you go, question number five there. What plant is usually found in a classic mojito cocktail? Question number six. What country is Mount Fuji located in? <sighs> Not sure of this one. <laughs> go for it, Jess. Love it. Is, are these answers is tonight it's just being silly isn't it i can i can see it uh i like it <laughs> it's simple yet effective <laughs> i really want like it's a shame that it's like all green i just need a clear pure clear beaker so it looks like it's blowing So question six there, what country is Mount Fuji located in? And the final question of this round, what is a mantilla? Simple question. Is it a simple answer? I'm not even going to try and come up with an answer. That's brilliant. <laughs> this is this is this is a Jess round, isn't it? I can see this being a Jess round. Uh, yeah, I'll just sit back and let Jess enjoy this one. No, we need to win, Tim. We need to win. All I right. need the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was question seven. What is a mantilla? And that there is the end of this category. So. Finish off writing up your answers or what you think they may be, and we shall go back through and uh, enjoy going through the answers, I suppose. I know what I am going to enjoy this. So question number one there is uh, the WWE wrestler Triple H is also known as what other alias? I suppose it's not really like a completely separate alias, it's kind of part of who he is, it's, it's his thing. So. I wonder how many people know. <laughs> Harry carries <laughs> hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are a bit hard to spell after a couple of drinks. <laughs> Give him the point for that answer. Give him a point. That was amazing. Uh, I love the alliteration there on that as well. It's absolutely fantastic. With Triple H. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh. Uh, I'm curious whether or not anybody's going to get this one. It's got, does it have something to do with an X or something like that? Cere Cerebral Assassin. What uh, Liz has gone with? Not quite. Not quite. Uh, no, he, he did have a. There was like a, an X thing that he did. It was like a, a pause. Uh, I was. Well, I'm kind of. Like I was like kind of expecting my brother question. to get this one. Yeah. Uh, Christine thought that was brilliant. Uh, Chris's comment. <laughs> uh, it looks like no one's getting the answer to this one. 
which is fine. Uh, my brother is finally coming in with it. Let, let's uh, let, let's stick it up there. Oh, yeah. The answer is the game. Is this the one that you just re-added for Tim? I did. I was like, I have a question. I need to add this for Tim. <laughs> and he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Oh, yes, I love it. So, if you've never played the game before, basically, you're all now playing it. Uh, and this is where we get to explain it, which is basically, if you stop thinking about the game, you're winning. If you start thinking about it, you've lost the game. And I've just reminded yeah. Monkey Bum about it. But he just yeah, lost. So, yeah, so there's a few rules with that, obviously. The idea is if you remember the game, you have to inform someone. Um, I'm informing quite a few people right now. Yes, you are. Um, it's more fun when you do it with someone who you haven't thought about for ages. Yeah. And I think, didn't I do that? Was it to you? <laughs> Nano's there going, hate you. <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz is LMAO, which is brilliant. So. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's one of those. The thing is, between games. me and Monkey Bum, we're always trying to find new creative ways of trying to. Uh, to, to put it out there so to remind them rather than just saying it to each other and i just thought this was this was a great great way of doing that so there you go i, I said you'd like that one eh, naomi i said you like that one anyways well, moving on let's go to question number two it was still a genuine question question number two what does vat stand for <laughs> nano's fuming <laughs> i love it i just wish pan was here he was here before if he's still here i think i've just ruined his his day as well didn't I, didn't I do it to Sun one time and it was like three years since he remembered about it? Yeah, it was something along that line. Yeah. He did it in stream and he just kicked off. Yeah. But what does VAT stand for? We've got Gwilik in there with value added tax. Sounds like you know a bit about that. Uh, Gwilik, oh, he's actually saying he's a value added ripoff. Uh, <laughs> uh, Liz is in there with value added tax. Uh, same with Nicola and Chris. John, Tina, and Naomi all put in their value added tax. Absolutely spot on there. Value added tax is correct for them. Number three. It is said that the Tower of London and the Crown are protected by six <laughs> resident what? Swans. <sighs> you know, you laugh. <laughs> I, I, I think I thought it was ravens. Or the first went crows and then changed what? it to ravens. What answer are we I going went... with here? I, I, no, we've gone with ravens, but I said swans because it was because that's what the the queen owns them. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, everyone <laughs> in the chat there, uh, yeah, Christine, you went with their value added tax as well. There, I just noticed. Uh, my dad also said the value added taxi. Um, but yeah, uh, Liz, you went with ravens. Chris B's also gone with ravens. Christine and Nicola uh, also there with raven. You guys. You said Ravens too, so yeah, Ravens is correct. Yeah. Well done. Uh, and apparent, apparently, after doing a little bit of research, <laughs> there's actually seven Ravens there at the moment. Uh, but as long as there's six, which is the minimum, Crown and the Tower of London are protected. That's that's the that's the fate, uh, the myth. Uh, question number four: How many years of marriage is celebrated by a pearl wedding anniversary? Thank you, Bum. You know this one. You have an idea. <laughs> No, I didn't know. Jess put us yes and down, but I, I, I just kept thinking of all right. different words. Jess? Uh, well, I knew from, because it was your mum and dad's last year, so it's 30. Yep, well done. Uh, that, that is correct, yeah. It was my mum and dad's. Uh, Naomi said 30. Uh, obviously, she knew because she probably asked the mum and dad. Uh, <laughs> Sean, oh, <yeah>. Liz, <laughs> Tina, Chris, Christine, Nick. Sorry. Nicholas said 10. Not quite there, Nicola, but... <laughs> and then my dad's there also gone with 30, so absolutely spot on. Uh, the answer is indeed 30. 30 years. Question number five. What plant is usually found in a classic mojito cocktail? Mint, 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 mint. Uh, apparently, in Jesse's mojito cocktail, there is a lot of mint. That's why I don't like them, because the mint leaves get in the way. See... When you ask the question, what planet is it? I just expected to have a little mojito glass with like the whole planet with the roots and the stem, everything plucked inside of it. I went, yeah, that's right. That's it was like a giant, like a giant spring onion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, rather than leaves, I don't know what it is. 
I just had the whole plant in my head going on in it. Well, Liz, Naomi, I think Naomi got it as well. Liz, Naomi, Sean, Nicola, hey. Chris, Tina, Christine, and my dad as well there. All with mint. Mint is correct. Din has forgotten about the quiz again. Don't worry, don't worry, Din. We're only three rounds in. We've got plenty of rounds to go. Uh, got a bit of catching up to do though. Uh, my brother said mints, as in like beef mints. No. Beef mints. Uh, question number six. Din, you've got two questions left of this round, and we're going through the answers. So give it a go. But give it a shot. Yeah, you do. Uh, what is what country is Mount Fuji located in? Do you want to know my answer? Um. Fujitopia. <laughs> no, it's not what Topia is it in. <laughs> uh, did you get an answer for this one, a proper one? No. No, no, we went with that one. <laughs> no, you just you could have you could have guessed any actual country and uh, well, I wasn't thinking of Japan or any of those well, like I think uh, well, if you're I think thinking sure. of it, Tim, we get the point. <laughs> <laughs> John went with Japan, uh, Nicola also, uh, Tina, Naomi, Liz, uh, Chris B as well, He's, they've all got Japan. Uh, Christine's also gone with Japan there as well. Uh, and Din has come in with the land of the rising sun. So I think I can give you that answer as correct. So well done there, Japan is correct. And on to the final question of this round, which was, what is a mantilla? Ever heard of it? <laughs> no? Yes, do you, no. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like Christine will know this one. I put um I don't know why, I just have I this put, feeling she's gonna know the answer. I put a man who works at a, at the till. <laughs> a man who works at the till. A, a man till I worked at uh, the checkouts, yeah. Yeah. A man who works at the checkouts. And that's me stuff. gone. <laughs> uh <laughs> Hmm. We've got uh, coming in here. We Tina's gone in with a lace scarf with a nice little scarf emoji. She finds them so quickly. Uh, Sean has also gone with silk scarf. Uh, Naomi's gone with scarf. Uh, Nicola thought it was a monkey. Let's see where you might think that. Uh, Din went with a veil. Uh, Christine's gone with a scarf. Uh, Naomi, uh, that goes around a lady's head. Uh, it's a lace head covering. Silk scarf or veil. Uh, from Liz, Sit, uh, Sal thought it was stuff to do with <laughs> floating point numbers, or if that's a, a mantissa. <laughs> uh, and Gulick's gone with, uh, oh no, sorry, I thought he was actually putting up an answer. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue with Jess logic, can you? There, uh, the answer is yes, in fact a scarf. If, he's, if he wants me to bring him rum, it's true. <laughs> uh, a scarf made of silk or lace. So if you've gone around that kind of sort of you know obviously wording uh absolutely spot on traditionally my dad's saying it's traditionally from spain my brother's coming in and says a traditional spanish lace or silk veil or shawl right kind of feel like you've googled that as an answer <laughs> to to get that very specific quote um but yeah that, that the answer there is a scarf made of silk or lace. yeah he, he, he's probably got one at home he's on uh and that is the end of that category so well done to everybody there. Let's see how uh, does veil count then? It's 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 not a veil, is it? It's a scarf. Well, doesn't a veil is well, yeah. Because if yeah, your I know. Googled um, it, it does say veil. Well, I suppose if my brother has googled it and got the actual Let specific answer, it. silk veil or mantilla. shawl, it doesn't even say scarf on that yeah. bit. So. Uh, mantilla yeah. in Spain, a lace or silk sc scarf worn by a woman over the head and shoulders, which is a veil, so... isn't it? Yes, I'm going to let you decide. Silk I'm... Veil. There you go. Veil is correct, so you can have that. Uh, six out of seven with Nio from Naomi there. Seven out of seven nice from my brother. Uh, my dad's gone with it. It's a veil. Uh, it's, it, my dad knows. Uh, Liz has got six out of seven. Chris was six out of seven. Nano's two out of seven. Uh, Nicola with four. Christine said that was a better round for her. Six out of seven. I knew you would know that answer as well, Christine. I don't know why. I just knew it. Uh, my dad's got five. Din got two out of two. So that's 100% success rate on that round. Well done, Din. Uh, Sean there, five out of seven. And Tina, five out of seven. So well done, everybody there. Okay, we are going to move on to the silhouettes round now. 
Silhouettes is a brand new round to this quiz. Basically, I'm going to show you some silhouettes and you have to guess um, what the characters are. And they are just characters. Now, just so everybody knows, two point round. There is a point per character and on each question, there are two characters. So, yeah, okay. let's see how this goes. Question number one. Appearances can be deceiving. Monkey Bum's looking at it going, hmm. Who is it? Well done there, Tina. With, uh, five out, uh, well, Tina and Sean there with five out of seven. Okay, so there are two characters there. They are not related to each other. So it is a point per character. Okay. All right, so that there is question one. Let's move on to question number two. There's question number two. I, I think if you if you know the characters, you'll know instantly. If you've seen these characters before, you will just know. I believe we were talking about the second one not so long ago. Uh, we, we actually were, yes, we were. it's true. We were. Because he was in that uh, film that we've watched. <laughs> oh, that was it, yeah. I've got the contest. So how are you doing with these, Jess, so far? Are you, are you, do you feel comfortable with the four that have been up? I've got all four so far. Yeah. Okay. I just did... Tim beat me to write in these two, but I beat Tim to the first two. It's true, she did. All right. Okay. Uh, right, so that's question two. Two silhouette characters there. Moving on to question number three. Pondering this one. The first one's got me. Mm. First one's got I, I feel like I recognize it. I can picture it, but I can't. I don't remember the name of it. I'm liking this. This is good. This this works. I like this round. It's good. Yep. So there you go. There's question number three. <laughs> Just asked if the top of your bottle's green because he missed us at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, Dun, it is definitely green. It's just, it, yeah, kind of. It's we we, we realised this earlier, and I was like, oh, yeah. it's not actually reaching my mouth yet. I'm drinking; it's disappearing. I love it. I just noticed it earlier on when I was uh, having a drink. Okay, so that was question number three. Question number four. Easy. I think these ones are quite easy. I had to throw, I had to throw some uh, so, some easy ones in there. I know, right? Magic. Okay, I can do that. Right. Ooh. Floating. Tim going for the full name. I'm just like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, full name is correct. Yeah, I know, but I was just <laughs> typing to Tim quick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that I think that one's really easy. I think I don't think anybody's gonna have much trouble with that one. Uh, let's move on to question number five. <laughs> oh, Tim, you are. On it. Do you know both of these? I, I do, yeah. yeah. I, I knew that, the right. second one, and then as soon as Tim said the name of the first one, I was like, yep, that's it. I think if I'm were right. You not I... first, were you not sure of the first one there, Jess? Um, I 
just saw the second one first. <laughs> you recognise that one first, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fair, yeah. Fair and then I thought, oh, well, I'll have a look at the first one in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Number six. What? My image hasn't loaded. That's broken. Oh, uh, no. So, Why is it broke? with these ones. Okay. You have to describe it. Uh, I would if I can remember what it was. <laughs> oh, I know why it's broken. Because I work on these things really, really late at night. That's why it's broken. Uh, I'll be with you in two seconds. Oh yeah, that's the, the this is a good one. <laughs> I'm glad you can see it. Yeah, right. We're gonna have to reload the round. So hopefully it'll pull it through the second this next time. So let's just um reload the round again so I can get those to reappear. That was question number one, right there. That's question number two. Okay, that's question number three. Uh, that's question number four. That's question number five. And that's question number six. Hey, Gwilik, I'm out of uh, I'm out of smoothie now. I I noticed this, but I'm busy answering questions. <laughs> I'm now looking back over the chat because I've just fixed that, that image. So I'm now looking at the chat and Sal's gone. I know this one. It's JPEG missing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, if only, do you know what? If only I had. If only I had. That would have been great. <laughs> My brother thinks he's got them all so far. Uh, next time, drink something dark green from dinner. What's that? I, I don't know. I think drinking something dark green, it can only be horrible. Um, green slush puppy. Okay, this bees were that, that that might work. Uh, I think Din's enjoying this round. I think he likes it. I think uh, you good. Yeah. Do you do you know them both? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think the first one's easy. I think the second one's a little bit more complicated, but I, I think it, it's we know possible it. to get. Yep. We uh, and the last spoke about her the other day. Yeah. You know it. You know it. Uh, question number six. Uh, and then moving on to question number seven. Hey! Right. Uh, that is there. That is question number seven. Uh, I'm going to nip off. Monkey Bum can tell you a story if he's got one. Uh, uh, I'll be back oh, in a second. Yeah. Yeah, okay. um, and I'll leave it on that one so you can uh, ponder a little bit longer on who you think they may okay. be. Fair enough. All right. So, um, basically, there's this uh, uh, shop in a lo lo local town uh, advertised for a job. And there's three, three guys went through, wanted to go and get this job. So the first guy goes in, talks to the, the uh, shop owner. The shop owner goes, yep, you have a great interview. Uh, I like it. But there's one thing you've got to do, you got to prove to me you can do, but I consider you giving the job. You've got to go blow something up. First guy thinks about it and goes, um, <laughs> first guy goes, all right then. So off he goes, comes back, blows off, blows for a little firecracker. And the shop owner goes, clever. All right, I'll get in contact with you. Uh, it's, oh, and the boy goes, so before you go, how many letters in the alphabet? The guy goes, 26. Oh, okay, great. Second guy comes in, same thing. I was going to interview, he said, right, can you blow something up for me? Again, he thinks of a firecracker. Uh, and just before he leaves, the shop owner goes, oh, how many letters in the alphabet? The guy goes, 26. Third guy comes in, goes up, good interview, everything like that. And shop owner goes, right, okay, prove something, prove that, you, like, like the others, you've got to go and blow something up. The guy goes, all right then, leaves the store. And they're gone for about 20 minutes. The shop owner is thinking, where's this guy gone? Feels a bit of a rumble. Don't know what it is. I think, okay, fair enough. Guy comes back in. He goes, right, don't submit. 
And Chopper goes, all right, I'll take you word for it. Uh, how many letters are in the alphabet? And he goes, 24. And Chopper goes, 24? No, there's 26. He goes, no, 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 there's 24. I just blew up B and Q. There you go. Random little story for you. I think my dad wow. might have told me that. Wow. <laughs> That's an old one. I've known that one for years. Sean, Sean's saying that this round it brings back memories. I'm glad. I'm glad it brings back memories. I hope it. I hope it does. You know, I've enjoyed making this round as well. So. Uh, Nicola liked that one by the look of it. Enjoyed okay. it. She put a big smiley face. Uh, I think uh, your sister was there. Tell us a Bob and Jim story. Yeah, Bob and Jim story. Uh, when when she was little, um, I used to when I was put to bed, I was babysitting him on my dad on the ground when I was looking at my sister. Um, I would make these stories up, and for some reason they're called Bob and Jim. That the two main characters were Bob and Jim, and I did this every time I babysat for years, and they were silly stories, kind of made up on the spot. And uh, yeah, that's why she nice. likes them. Nice. Maybe you'll have to uh, have a Bob and Jim story next. <laughs> <laughs> made up on the spot. Uh, okay, so that is the end of that category let's go back through the uh through the round again uh and uh, put up the answers uh see how uh, how everybody did okay so what have we got jess answered these didn't she she got the right quickly yeah yeah is jess there yeah yeah cool. um, so, sorry my phone was away from my mouth then yes yeah, they are two point yeah, they are two pointers. A point for each character. So if you get one character, you get a point. If you get the other character, you get a point. If you get them both, obviously you get two. So, so Jess, um, what are your answers? I went with Ash okay. and Amy. Went with the girl Sonic. Okay. Uh, Naomi's gone with Ash and Sonic. Uh, my mum's gone with Shadow the Hedgehog and Ash Ketchum. Uh, Sean has said question mark and Sonic. Uh, um, something and Sonic the Hedgehog. And Chris. Oh, I think this one's, uh, this one's puzzled a few people. Uh, I will put up the answers. You will see them uh, appear as well. I've, uh, I've got them so that they do fade in. You can actually see what they actually look like. Uh, Christine thinks Sonic for the second one. Did my brother put up an answer? No, not yet. I, I was expecting something from my brother. The answers are... Ash Ketchum and Shadow the Hedgehog. So good effort. I see where you went with that, Jess. You knew it wasn't Sonic because it wasn't the, the actual like, things at the back weren't yeah. uh, weren't quite all curved the same as Sonic. Yeah. But yeah, this one was actually Shadow the Hedgehog. <clears throat> so if you got Ash Ketchum, well done. That's a point. If you got Shadow the Hedgehog, that's a point. Okay. So well done to everybody you got that. Next round. Third round. Next question. Two very, very easy ones. Oh, my mum's gone. Well done, Danny. I did I was gonna say I didn't think my mum would have known that was Shadow the Hedgehog. I thought that would that'd be pretty impressive if she, if she knew that one. So I guess my, my brother saw it and went, nope, that's Shadow. Yep, that easy. Uh we have got uh Sean, uh Nicola, and Din and Naomi all coming in with Pop Cat and Captain Caveman is just fantastic. Captain Gamer, one of my favourites. Uh, Christine's going with Top Cat, the first one, I'm guessing. The, the second one, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> the answers are Top Cat and Captain Caveman. So, yes, well done there. Uh, Din's gone in with Captain Caveman. Oh, he's great. I was so happy when I saw him in a film recently. It was so good. So good. Uh, question number three. The one that puzzled Monkey Bum. So Monkey oh, Bum, which okay. one did you get? Uh, the second one put was Motley. Okay. Uh, I just couldn't get my head around what the first one was. So, uh, Gwilik has said he finally has a rum. 
You are no, not going to. No, I said it to him. <laughs> oh, have you told him? Oh, uh, at Gulluk. Is, uh, sorry, I read, I read, I read, I read the name Gulluk and just read it wrong. Uh, so yeah, I do. I finally have a room. So, hmm, yum. Uh, if, if if basically, if my programming is broken now, <laughs> I won't be sober enough to be able to fix it. <laughs> uh, so right, let's have a look. We've got Tina, who's gone with Garfield and Mutley. Uh, Sean has gone with Garfield Mutley. My brother has gone with Nasha and Mutley. Uh, Nicola thought it was Mutley, and so she's not sure about the first one either. Uh, Naomi went with Garfield and Mutley. Christine, not sure, and Mutley. Uh, Din's with Nasha and Mutley. Chris B, Nasha and Mutley. My mum, Nasha and Mutley. It's Nasha and Mutley. So, yes, well done to everybody there. You you got that right. Oh. I can uh, see other it than now. you, monkey bum. No, <laughs> I can see it now that I can see the picture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> literally can see it. Uh, <laughs> but it all makes sense now, doesn't it? It all clicks into place. Yeah. yeah. Okay, question number four. Two very easy ones. Let's just get this one done with. Move on to the next one. What did you get, monkey bum? Uh, Roadrunner and the Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, I got that. As well. Roadrunner, Tasmanian Devil, and in brackets there, Taz. So if you put Taz or Tasmanian Devil, that's fine. Uh, nice. Nicola, Din, Sean. Yeah, very quick on the answers there. Uh, well done. Also, my mum got the answer. So well done there. Question five. So Jess, you knew the one on the right. Yeah. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it. Probably from you. Yeah, probably. I've never seen it before. All right, okay. Uh, this is what I was thinking. So. Scrap, uh, go on, then. Scrappy Doo and Super Ted. Scrappy Doo and Super Ted. Yeah. What did the chat get? Uh, yeah. This chat got yeah. exactly the same thing. Uh, Din there with Scrappy Doo and... Oh, he's not sure who the one on the right was there. So one point for Din. Uh, Scrappy Doo and Super oh, Ted for Naomi. You're slacking. <laughs> Didn't slack. <laughs> um, we've got uh, Nicola, Tina, my brother there as well, uh, and my mum and dad, Sean, Chris, all there with Scrappy Doo and uh, yeah. Super Ted. Oh, the answer there, Scrappy Doo, Super Ted, of course. Uh, again, Super Ted, just another fantastic one from my younger, oh, mungi, my younger days. Absolutely love it. Uh, I thought I threw a, a few classics in there. Uh, question six. Yeah. I think the one on the right. I think the one on the left is easy. Christine said she just got Super Ted. You just get it just before I actually uh, swapped it over. Yeah. Uh, just in time there. Uh, question six. Uh, like I said, I think the one on the left is very easy. Like, I think that was, it's very obvious. Yeah, on the it's right, hard to that bit than less, else. Yeah, the one on the right I think is a little less obvious, but I still think it's it's easy enough to get. Yeah, if you, you uh, the right program, you've got it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so Nicola's there with Popeye and Penelope Pitstop. Uh, Sean as well. Uh, my brother's there with the same answer. Tina, Din, Naomi, uh, my mum and dad. Uh, Chris B's also gone with Popeye. And, everyone's gone well, there with Popeye and Penelope Pitstop. Uh, absolutely well brilliant. There they are. Popeye the Sailor Man and Penelope Pitstop. Okay, moving on to the last question of this round. And uh, yeah, again, I think the one on the left is fairly easy. The one on the right, yeah. slightly more com complicated. But I think Jess has got it. I think Jess has got the one on the right. Oh, I'm, and Dan. So my parents and Dan and uh, partnered up with them. I know, I know the one on the left. Oh, right. Okay, I thought you might have got the one on the right. I don't, even, I don't know who that is. Uh, so, uh, my brother's <laughs> my brother's gone with Where's Wally? In brackets, Waldo. I just look with Wally. Uh, and Lola Bunny. Uh, then we've got Din, who said the same thing. Yeah. Wally and Lola Bunny. <laughs> Naomi's gone with Wally and Lola. Sean was Wally and Not Sure. Uh, same with Tina. Yeah. Uh, Chris B, Where's Wally and Lola? Wally and Lola. Christine thought, where's Wally and... But she's not too sure about the other one. The answer is, where's Wally? Waldo. And yeah, those I people who Clearly. have Waldo. Uh, and yeah. Lola Bunny. From Space Jam. Nice touch. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I was thinking I could put Bugs Bunny on there and stuff like that. It'd be too yeah. obvious. I thought I'll mix it up and try a different character. Someone who's got a bit of a... Yeah. I remember like, hearing less, a story. Less common. I remember hearing a story about... Um, uh, I can't remember what city he was in, whether it was in the States or the UK, I can't remember. But basically, uh, there was this big children's hospital and opposite they were being doing a massive building. And one of the builders had done a life-size cardboard cut out of Wes Wally. And every day he'd move it to a different window and all the kids had to try and find it. I, <laughs> I love it. That's a brilliant idea. That's great. Uh, we should do that where we work. We've got so many windows. <laughs> <laughs> I hide it in each window. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the end of that category. So let's see how everyone did with the points. Uh, there is 14 points up for grabs. My brother, he got 14 out of 14. Well done. <laughs> Absolutely spot on. Sean there with 10 out of 14. Uh, oh, nice my parents contact. and my brother Daniel as well there. 13 out of 14. So they missed one. Uh, Liz and Dan got 10 out of 14. Uh, Naomi there, 12 out of 14. Chris B, 12 out of 14. Tina, 10 out of 14. Uh, so some really, really high scores on that one. So I think everyone's done really well. I think if everybody likes that round, I will do that round again in the future. I think that's a good round. I think everyone likes that one. And you guys got 12. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, because you missed the first one, didn't you? Uh, I can't remember which other one you missed. We oh, missed, Nasha. We missed, um, the... It was Shadow and Nasha. Oh, wasn't it? Nasha. Yeah, Nasha, yeah, yeah. Shadow and Nasha, yeah. Uh, MMC90, Abby Hulligan, I'm rooting for you to win. Uh, well, this it, it could very well be, and he's no cheating as well, this legitimate 14. <laughs> That's almost like saying you were cheating in the other rounds. Uh, Nicola there with 10 out of 14, Christine with 9 out of 14. Uh, Din there with 12 out of 14, that's a good effort. Nano finally gets past that 7 mark, uh, 8 out of 14. <laughs> and uh, Abby's like, yeah, do it again. I think she enjoyed that one, so. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, uh, everyone's good. done really well. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a good round. Uh, carrying on, moving on to another um, uh, another uh, uh, another round. Uh, the emoji round. Now, let me see if I can uh, get you a theme to make this a bit easier for you. Uh, it is music. Okay, so it's uh, when I say music, I've actually gone more specific of a genre here. Okay, uh, it's more rock music. Oh, well, okay. I'm out. okay. <laughs> right. Uh, it, you, you, you might, you might be okay, Jess. Let's see how you'll see how we get on. So let's move on to the first emoji round. Let's hope all the images are there. I'm gonna request a different music theme next week. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So there's your first two. Well, first, first three uh, emojis. So is it a band or is it a song? Uh, th there'll be a song. I'll, I'll put the band name with them as well. That everyone knows. Okay. I'm literally just doing say what you see, Tim. So. Yeah, uh, I don't. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> You've probably got this one right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the first emoji. Okay, let's move on to question number two. <laughs> I don't know if Jess has got the answer here or if she's just giggling because she's got a funny answer. No, I, I can't say it because we're not at that point yet, but... Oh, right, okay. I'm, I'm not using the word that I used last week for that emoji. I'm using the word that it actually was. So it makes no Fair sense. Enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that's question number two. I think uh, for for those rock fans, they will know this one. I know somebody will definitely know that one. Uh, question three, dead easy. Everyone's getting this one. Uh, uh, I nearly sang it then. <laughs> <laughs> There we are telling people not to write them in the chat. And there's you almost <laughs> singing out the answers. Because that's the downside with the music round. You get you, you hear the song in your head and you just want to sing it. Okay, question number three, dead easy. Let's move on to question number four. Hmm. What's this one? Oh, I, I know this one. Yep. 
Did you know that monkey bum, or are you just like, actually, no, that's right. Yeah, she got uh, it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I got, got it as well. well. In agreement, then. Okay, that's question number four. <clears throat> then we want to question number five. Din says four is a good one. Thank you, Din. I appreciate yeah. it. All, by the way, all of these I've made myself. Like, I didn't actually do research. This, this is not a Google round. This was, I Googled songs and then made emo put emojis to them. So, so if they're dead easy, that's why. Because <laughs> I found dead easy ones. <laughs> I think Monkey Bum sat there going, next question, please. This one's easy. <clears throat> okay, so there's question number five. Question number six. <clears throat> Are you nodding... <laughs> To Jesse's answer there, or? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna start singing it then, Chris. That's your fault. You that, sing this it. One, that probably that probably would be my fault. Okay, so there's number question. Uh, well, there's, there's number question six. There's question number six, and the final question. Nice easy one. That monkey bum is going easy. What are you on about? I have no what? idea what you're talking about. What? This doesn't make any sense. What is it? And then when I give him the answer, he's going to say, when I give him the answer in a minute, he'll be like, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. There's the, uh, there's the seven questions of that round. That's the end of that category. Uh, let's uh, let's go back through if everybody's ready and uh, put up the answers. Question number one. Yes. Hi. What did you get? You, bed you of said roses. You had a bed of roses. Basically, say what you see. Say what you see. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, what did the chat get? Uh, my brother's in there with a bed of roses. So is Din. Din's also said that. Uh, Nicola in there with Bed of Roses. Uh, same as my mum and dad have gone with that answer as well. So has uh, Sean and... Yeah. So mum and dad, mum and dad and my brother Daniel. Uh, the answer there is Bed of Roses, Bon Jovi. Uh, well done. I, I, there was a spelling mistake on that one uh, when I wrote it out. I wrote Bed of Roses. <laughs> but, I but I fixed it. I'm all good. Monkey Bum, you stopped moving. Is your webcam uh, broken? Uh, I'll check. Monkey Bum froze. <laughs> I was so shocked with the answer. <laughs> Monkey Bum vanished. Uh, carry on. It's fine. You carry on. I'll, I'll just carry on. I've lost my partner in crime. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's move on. Question number two. And he's back! <laughs> Look at that. Uh, question number two, there we go. What, what's the answer? What have we got? <clears throat> Waiting for the chat. Yeah, same. Uh, oh, I like it, Christine. Oh, very interesting. That's I do a... like that answer. That is a good answer. It's Question not right. I do apologize. Right. <laughs> I do apologize. It's not. But look at You lost your head now. I'm just trying out different special effects. <laughs> but one minute, like now you see me, now you don't. Now you don't see my head. <laughs> it's just gone. Uh, so the chat has uh, started putting up some. Uh, some of the correct answers there we've got uh, mmc90 there with crazy crazy nights uh by kiss uh my mum uh sean uh nicola didn't have a clue but mum and sean have gone with the right answer there uh, crazy crazy nights 
Uh, Chris B there with Crazy Crazy Knights as well. Din the same. Naomi is also <laughs> going with Crazy Crazy Knights. Did you get that one as well, Jess? Yeah, I put it. I put it. She did? You put it. Oh, well done. Very, you know, good I answer. Uh, and apparently Liz is saying that she thinks that uh, Dan is getting mad at her for singing them. <laughs> Uh, you, Dan, you can't get mad at Liz for singing Crazy Crazy Nights. No. It's a great song. Uh, I'm pretty sure my mum would have got that one. I was, I was quite confident. That's like her favourite song. Thank you. Uh, question number three. Come on, let's get past this one because this one's dead easy. What have we got? Looking at tigers. I have the Looking at tigers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have the tiger. Survivor. Yeah, yeah, see, everyone was already there with that, and Tina's got a nice little emoji of uh, of a tiger there as well. A better one than I've got in my head. Uh, so, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. Hold on. Question number four. Didn't like this one. Didn't say I did a good job. He thinks this one's clever. I think this one was clever. I think it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... And Nicola went with Road to Evil. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, Naomi, Din, Sean, uh, Tina, all going with Highway to Hell. Is that what you guys got? Yeah. 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 Highway to Help is what my brother said. ACDC. <laughs> Highway to Hell, ACDC. Well done. Uh, you spelled it wrong, brother. You didn't do it right. It's wrong. He doesn't get the point. You, you want you want out, mate. That's it. Your 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 perfect perfect mm -hmm. record is uh, is gone. Uh, Christine also went with Highway to Hell. Well done. Chris B was Road to Hell or Highway to Hell. You get the uh, point there. You got Highway to Hell. You got you got it. So. Question number five. Very uh, and again an easy one. Dare what you say. Dare what you say. That's what it is. I don't think it was an easy one. This one I got it wrong. Did you? Right. I just said say fuck on wave. <laughs> 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 I would have thought people as soon as they see smoke they go smoke oh it's smoke yeah of course I know what that one is but no no uh, smoke on the water by deep purple is what my brother's going with he's trying to get those extra bonus points even though they don't count he's trying to get them by putting in who who the artist was uh, Nicola there with smoke on the water Din Tina uh, my mum Chris Christine Sean all there with smoke on the water Smoke on the water, deep purple, absolutely spot on. Well done with that one. Question number six. I think that's a pretty good one. I think it works. It does. I'm a big fan of this one. I know it's one of my fave songs now. You sing it all the time. Yeah. Very it's on limited my, is it lyrics. My playlist. It's very limited lyrics. Uh, my mum's gone in there with Thunderstruck. Uh, Tina with Thunderstruck. Uh, my brother's also gone with Thunderstruck from ACDC. Uh, Tina's trying to get in there with the ACDC as well. He's trying to claim some extra bonus points. Can't have them. They're not, they're not there. But you got you got the ACDC bit, right? Uh, Din as well. Sean. Uh, Din's correcting his spellings. Thunderstruck. Uh, uh, Nickel there with Thunderstruck as well. Uh, yep, yeah, Thunderstruck. You got. Yeah. Even though that that left one was lightning and the other one was starstruck image, but, you know, Thunderstruck. And the final question of this emoji round is this one. Did you get this one, Monkey Bum? Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, you got did. it. Well, we've got an answer, and the only reason I came up with the answer that I thought of was because of Jess putting random answers. She was typing what she saw. I went, yeah, that's right. All right, okay. Uh, what did you get then? We went what? Oh, with, yeah, I was, was going to get just to answer as soon as it was her. It, she she was the inspiration by the answer. Uh, yeah. Din has put in uh, walk this way. Tina's gone with walk this way. So has Sean. Uh, my mum's also gone with walk this way. Uh, yeah, my brother's in there with walk this way with Aerosmith. Walk this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Walk this way. Aerosmith. Uh, I should have put uh, Aerosmith featuring Run DMC. But that's fine. Uh, so yeah, well done to everybody who got that. Well done, Christine as well. Nicola wasn't too sure on that one. Chris B also got what this way. So yeah, absolutely spot on. Well done to everybody who got that. That is the end of this category. Uh, 
Let's see what the scores are. We got seven out of seven. Seven out of seven. Well done. Uh, so did Din. So did Chris. So did Liz. So there seems to be a fair few seven out of sevens on this one. Nicola got four out of seven. Good effort. What else have we got? Uh, my brother's saying seven out of seven. 14 out of 14 for the extra bonus points. No. <laughs> seven out of seven there. Tina saying that's her first ever seven out of seven. So Tina, you liked that round then? Yeah. You, you like your rock music, I guess. Or is this a Sean thing? I don't know. Um, my parents there were seven out of seven. Do you know what? With my brother on their team, I didn't expect anything less. And to be honest, between my brother and my dad, and then there was Crazy Crazy Nights, which is like definitely my mum was getting that one probably before they would, even though they didn't know the answer. Yeah, they had that. Uh, add Naomi there with five out of seven. That's a really good score. Nice work. Oh. So well done, well done to everybody on that round. Name that object. Okay, so again, I'm trying out a lot of picture rounds on this this one. So we'll have to see how we're doing. Oh, Christine got five out of seven. Also, a very good score. Uh, so like I say, I'm doing I'm doing a fair few picture rounds. This is another picture round. I've uh, kind of blurred out a bit. Kind of harder to see. Uh, just tell me what the object is. Um, simple as that. Uh, and it probably is going to be dead simple. So. Yeah, everyone's, I'm expecting 7 out of 7 for most people on this one. So, here we go. Question number one. Loading the... It's, it's actually loaded the image there. There you go. I think it's easy. Oh. Won't spend too long on these. We'll just skip through them. I don't think it'll take long for people to, to work them out. Uh, a, I think you should have just put name that object inspired by Jess. Oh, <laughs> name that object inspired by Jess. Jess did send me something that sort of like this kind of idea. Um, but it was with characters instead. But I'd already done a character round. So okay, it's kind so of like I didn't want to do characters again and just blur them out. I thought I'd do something a bit different. But I might have to go with characters to make it a bit, a bit harder next time. Uh, so that was question number one. Question number two. You can tell when Jess has got an idea. No, it's like, I knocked something just a... and then the mouse moved oh, right. and I thought I knocked the drink, but I hadn't, the drink was on the other side of oh. the desk. Apparently you can't tell when Jess has got an idea. She makes the same sound as she does when she knocks things over. Hmm. There I you go, that's question. Oh, okay. That was question number two. Question number three. I'm, I'm like I like watching uh, Monkey Mum's head. It goes from this position straight up to just a just a slight tilt. Hmm. Do you know this one, Monkey Mum? Uh, no. Not sure. I'm not sure. Testicles? No. Not sure. I thought this one was easy. I could I not see it. My words to Tim was, what on earth? <laughs> I couldn't not see this one at all. It was just, that's what it was. It was... <laughs> I like it, Tim. Oh. That's question number three. Question number four. Okay, I think everybody has enough time for that one. Question number five. <clears throat> You happy with this one? You got it? Yeah. I think so. Yeah? 
quite comfortable with that one. Yeah. Okay, moving on to question number six. I'm trying to concentrate and spell things correctly to Tim now, and he's beating me to it every time because I'm, I'm typing slowly. Tim's like, I, I don't care if I get it spelled wrong, I'm just going to type it. <laughs> That's question number six there. Again, I think that was quite an easy one. And then question number seven. I think this is the hardest one out of the lot, personally. <laughs> it looks like that, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> No idea what it looks like. All right. So that's question number seven. All right. Have we had enough time for all them? Yeah. Am happy with that? Din's got to go. Good quiz again, dude. Hopefully stay for the whole next time. All right. Okay. Well, well done, Din, for uh, getting uh, as far as you got. The, the, the quiz will still be on YouTube. Uh, after this so if you want to catch up with the rest of the quiz later on uh, or tomorrow or something have a go tell us your answers and then we'll see how you did uh, uh but that is the end of that round there question number seven uh end of the category let's go back through those and see how everyone did question number one dead easy or at least i think it is Uh, Sean's gone in with a hammer. Tina's added the uh, little emoji to hers as well. I think I feel like she's just got them on standby. Have you got a search feature? Because I know I would be there going, oh, where's that? Where is it? Where is it? Scrolling through all of the different emojis, trying to find them. Uh, my mum's gone with claw hammer. She's trying to be specific. Uh, Christine there with hammer. Uh, Nicola, Chris, and uh, Naomi have also gone with hammer. Pop up the answer there. It is a hammer. There it is. All right. Well done to everybody who got that. Nice easy one to start with. Gives you an idea of what the round's like. Uh, move on to question number two. Right. Jess, did you figure this one out? Did you, yeah. Did you get this one? Yeah. What are you going with? A lamp. A lamp. Uh, I wonder if the chat got out. Uh, my mum's gone with a lamp. Gone also with a lamp. My brother said Thor's hammer. Uh, Nicola and Tina are also gone with a lamp. Mike, you've just lost your, your, your winning streak of uh, full, full points. How good, how good would that have been if it was Thor's hammer? It is in fact a lamp. Well done there. Very, very, ah, yeah, very easy one. I suppose I could do like a really abstract lamp next time, but it doesn't even look like a lamp. And it's like, no, it's a lamp. They come in weird shapes and sizes, don't they? Take a uh, picture Christine of the, went um, with ice cream cornet. <laughs> I suppose it did look a bit like that, yeah. Take a picture of the Captain Morgan's bottle with the twinkly lights in. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, uh, question number three. Did you get this one? Or is this one still a... Oh, okay. They went with fork, but I don't think it is a fork. Like, the chat going with? It might be a knife, fork and a spoon together. Uh, my brother is thinking the same kind of direction, I think, on that one, with cutlery. Mm. And a teaspoon. Uh, Nick is going the same route, cutlery. Uh, and Naomi, cutlery, fork, knife. 
Dina's going cutlery. Seems like everybody's thinking it's cutlery. There it is. Yippee! There's the answer. Cutlery is correct. Like you said, uh, spoon, the knife, the fork, and the teaspoon as well. So well done. Question before. Did you get this one, Jess? Uh, Tim got it. Tim sent me Tim the message it. for it. it. Beat me to it. <laughs> ah, this is the one where you're typing things too slowly. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got uh, my mum and dad are going with the desk chair. Uh, we've got Tina, Sean, Nicola, and Naomi with chair. Uh, is that what you got, my mum? Uh, yeah, we went through the chair. Although, I like Christian Dunn's there. A throne. So much more regal. A throne. <laughs> yeah. I like it. A chair. Oh, throne. Uh, yeah, it's a chair, obviously, right there. Um, well done to everybody who got that. Uh, number Johnny Five. There's no short circuit here, bro. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Maybe she's just randomly writing things down. Number Johnny Five. Uh, I suppose. Mm, no. Uh, question number five. I think I should have blurred I think I should have blown this one out a little bit more. Uh Naomi there with Blender. Uh, my mum's got with Blender. Nicholas got with Blender. Uh, I know, right? Uh, yeah. Uh no, because then you would have known it that easy. Even though you didn't know this one anyway. Uh Jess has also said there Blender. Blender is correct. Well done. Question number six. To me, it almost looks like it's kind of like a beehive. Initially, I'm like, it looks like a beehive. I know it's not, but it kind of looked like it. Because of the pixelation. Yeah, with the pixelation, yeah. Uh, Kaemon has said Donald Duck. It, it's a good effort. It's a good effort. Um, not right. Uh, Sean said food mixer. I think food mixer's fair. I don't answer that yeah, last one. Yeah, I'll go with that one, yeah. Uh, Staircase, stairs, stairs. Uh, my brother said banister. I suppose I'm not really oh, yeah. being specific on what I'm looking at here. Uh, staircase, staircase, stairs, staircase. Uh, the answer I put up there is stairs. Uh, but I, I suppose I can't say no to my brother saying banister. Because that's technically what's there. But the prominent thing there is these stairs. Or staircase. Uh, and then the final question of this round. One that's a little bit more, a little bit harder. No worries, Sean. You, you're correct. It's just another name for it, isn't it? Uh, question seven. Did you get one? Did you get one, from Jess? Uh, well, Jess's initial answer, I think, is quite adequate. You with the bomb. Bomb. Looks bomb. Like a bomb. <laughs> okay, I can see why you think that. Did you get uh, another answer, or is that the one you're sticking with? Uh, Essentially, a cushion is the only other thing I could think of. Cushion. Uh, my mum has said... Maybe a VR headset as well. Yeah. We're chatting. Uh, think. Well, my mum's so, but... gone with alarm clock. Chris B's gone with an alarm clock as well. You know if anybody else has got any others. Uh, Naomi's gone with a kettle or a clock. Mm, fair enough. I think that might be all we're getting in terms of answers this time around. Or uh, oh, uh, Nicholas Hoover. got with a Henry Henry Hoover. Good old Henry. Do you know what? Do you know what, Nicola? I, I kid you not here. I did think about using a Henry Hoover as one of my images. So, well, well played. Uh, Sean's going with a kettle. Uh, I think to put everybody out of their misery, uh, the answer is an alarm clock. There it is. So. Uh, oh, but, you know. The red, the red little light in the background, that was what was throwing me off. I thought that was part yeah. of the picture. Yeah, yeah see, this is why I, I wanted pictures with a background, so that it would sl it would try to throw you off a bit. Because um, otherwise, it'd just be way too obvious what they are. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so 
alarm clock. Well done to everybody who got that. Uh, and, and now, next week, when I do this round, I can't do a Henry Hoover. Because <laughs> Nicholas already got the answer a week ahead of time. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we got. Sean got five out of seven. I can imagine that being quite a good round for people. Yeah, I think that's going to be quite a fairly, fairly strong round. What did you guys I got get? Six. Six oh, out of wow. seven there. Very high uh, oh, it is as well. Uh, so my parents and Nicola also got their six out of seven. Uh, Chris, uh, he said five out of seven amazingly. Uh, there is a way of actually cheating on that round, I found. Uh, but I don't want to tell you just in case I do decide to do it again. So that's why I'm unsure if I'll do that round again or not, or if I'll change the way yeah. it is a little bit. Uh, Naomi there with seven out of seven. She's showing you up, my boy. She's showing you up. Uh, then we've got my brother there with 7 out of 7 as well. Uh, no, you didn't get 7 out of 7, mate. You put Thor's hammer. It's wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sean says, I hate alarm clocks. You know what, Sean? I'd say I hate alarm clocks too, but <laughs> I don't know why I would hate alarm clocks. I sleep through them anyway. Just, <laughs> they, don't, they, don't do any, they don't do anything for me. Um, either that or I just start beating away to the music in my sleep. Um, then we've got... Uh, six out of seven for Liz. Uh, Tina's there with six out of seven, and Christine got only got three this time. Uh, good effort, though. Very good effort. Uh, we have three rounds left. Uh, Pixar. Okay. I thought instead of going to Disney route, I know there'll be Disney elements in here and stuff. But uh, uh, MMC90, you got six. Yeah, exactly. You got six. He's cheating. He said Thor's hammer. Uh. Okay, let's move on to the Pixar round. Uh, it isn't a picture round, it is a quiz round. So here come the questions. Question number one. In a bug's life, bugs that flick Mr. or warriors actually work where? Uh, <laughs> I was like, shh, Nikki, I'm winning. He's winning because he's just put in the full, full, full marks for everything. Probably even whether he didn't get them. Uh, Sean said, I don't really need that. I just get up before the beep. I don't get up before the beep. I just... No, I'm not one person. I'm awful. Oh, no. he doesn't get up before the beep. Never. <laughs> nope. He doesn't I, I've, even I've, wake I've up turned the alarm I... off in my sleep before now. Yeah. He tapped along to it the other day. Yep, it's true. True. Did. Uh, so that's question one. In a bug's life, the bugs that flick mistakes for warriors actually worked where? Uh, question number two. In Toy Story 2, what's the name of the 1950s puppet show in which Woody was the star? This is like, oh, this is an easy round. I'm just thinking about the nice warm cookie that we're going to have after this. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is good. And I okay. got a tub of Maltese uh, Cumbrian cow ice cream when I went the other day. So we've got a new one to try. Nice. Uh, but that was it. It was question number two in Toy Story 2. What's the name of the 1950s puppet show in which Woody was the star? Question number three. In Finding Nemo, Marlin and Nemo are what type of fish? A really, really, really I'm easy still, question. Type and in, in the answer on our <laughs> Word document that I've got and tip for the previous question and Tim's there straight away before I can even answer. <laughs> Do you know what's really weird is I was at, when I was in the shower this morning I was listening to um like a little mini quiz thing it was like called Beat the Teacher. Oh, and, uh, I love they asked that. the teacher question. Yeah, exactly. And the one of the questions on Beat the Teacher this morning was this mm. question. And I was like, oh well, thank you for confirming that I got the answer right when I put it in my. Uh, yeah, it was for the kid and the kid got it. She got the full mark. She beat, she beat the teacher. So. Yeah, I I quite like it. There was one round that I watched where the the teacher and the kid would draw, like, drew. So they did, like, mm -hmm. a quick fire question. 
and it was yeah. whoever answered it first and bless her the teacher did wait but the kid just wasn't going to get it so the teacher had to get it because she was oh, like all right we're going to be silent and the teacher that's what just happened this going, morning i'm so sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> that's what happened this morning but the and, and it was the quick fire round question which was the the new yeah. one um was it? and and I, I'm not going to say what the answer is because that's the answer yeah. to this. But, uh, but what she said was slightly wrong when she said it, but they gave her it anyway. Question number four. In The Incredibles, what's Rozone's actual first name? Double question mark. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I need to be. <laughs> this is like an extra, extra question. Yeah, you don't get any extra, extra points though. You get an extra question for his the colour of his super suit. <laughs> nope. Where's Do you know my the answer? Super suit? <laughs> Do you know the answer? I'm thinking of it. Uh, we might have to continue thinking while we move through the next questions. That was question number four in the Incredibles. What's Frozone's actual first name? Double question mark. <laughs> question number five. What is Boo's nickname for Sully in Monsters Inc? Oh. Is that an or oh, you remember? I know Tim sent me the answer and I was like, oh yeah, so cute. <laughs> I would seen Monsters Inc the first one in ages because we watched University the other day, didn't we? We did. We did. That's the first time I'd seen the first that. one in ages. All oh, right, there. Is the director's daughter, I think, rightly. You couldn't find hmm. someone in the, the director's daughter at the time. So, Random. question five there What is Boo's nickname for Sully in Monsters Inc? Question number six uh, What is. I clearly tried to write one way and then I changed it. Over. What is the name of the rat in Ratatouille? Is the name of the rat in Ratatouille? Which one? <laughs> I suppose the main one. Okay. The main <laughs> rat. No, his sister's cousin's wife. <laughs> His sister's, cousin's, wife's, uncle's, <laughs> brother's, <laughs> pet's former roommate. Yeah, there, uh, there are a few. <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. That's the question number six. What's the uh, name of the uh, rat's, uncle's, brother's, daughter's, sister's, father's? <laughs> What's the name of the main rat in Rat to Do? <laughs> and question number seven. What was the name of the little girl who was the centre of Inside Out. Uh, Mike's saying, not a, not a confident round, but you're sure you'll still get 7 out of 7. Well, you will if you Google the answers, or if you just give yourself 7 out of 7, if you, if you don't know them. Cheating, Mike, you are. Hmm. I thought I heard it in the same way, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, it's like, mm, cheating, Mike, you are. Mm. Chris, you're edging more and more towards doing an impression sound, I think. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> hey, there's a couple you're good at. Mickey Mouse. Uh, there's, there's a couple. Yeah. No, no, not doing it. Not doing it. No, no. Uh, Sean's saying this isn't a great round. Uh, okay, so that was question number seven there. Uh, what was the name of the little girl who was the center of Inside Out? Uh, end of the category. And time to go through the answers. <laughs> Battle uh, Question number one. In a bug's life, 
the bug that flick mistakes for warriors actually worked where? What have we got? What we think it worked with? I'm waiting for the chat. Yeah, just see what the chat's like. Uh, have you just got an answer? An answer. We've got an answer, yeah. Yeah. But Are you confident? Are you confident with the answer? Yeah. 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 We even have a name. Uh, uh, full name. I think we've got the full name of the circuit as well. Well, the real monkey bum's gone in there first with an answer very quickly. Uh, it's gone with circus. Uh, Sean's uh, said Bug City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it I suppose, yeah. And here's come more answers. So we've got uh, my, my parents have gone with circus. Uh, we've got Nicola who's gone with circus as well. Uh, MMC90 has also gone with circus. We've Pop got the answer the there. Go on, then, what's the full name? The name? We thought it's PT Flea Circus, isn't it? Yeah. I do think that is right. Yeah. I just googled it as well, and it is PT Flea Circus. Yeah. But the circus is the right answer there. Pete Flea Circus, if you put either one of those, um, you got the answer correct for them. Tim, we get an extra point. No, you don't. <laughs> Question number two. In Toy Story 2, what's the name of the 1950s puppet show in which Woody was the star? You know this one, Jess? Uh, yeah, we got this one. Good, good. Do you want to give us the answer? We don't get this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, we had an answer, what, what, but we. What did you, What did you put? With, it's hold down, but it is. It's what, Woody's, Woody's, Woody's hold down. Woody's hold down. Like, yeah. oh yeah, we've got this one. We've got this one. Oh no, I've seen mm -hmm. the chat. Oh. It's okay because we've got two uh, points. <laughs> question, so it balances it out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Chris, Chris B there with Woody's roundup. Uh, very quick in there with that one. I guess Chris, you're a fan of Toy Story. Uh, my mum and dad have gone with Woody's Roundup 2, same as uh, Naomi and Christine. But Roundup, uh, Nicholas also said Roundup. I think that's fair, you know, Woody was the star, Woody's Roundup. Uh, the answer, Woody's Roundup, not Hold Down. Cough, Hold Down, Cough. <laughs> Woody's Roundup, season two was Hold Down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it would have been had it not been cancelled. Very <laughs> Uh, question number three. In Finding Nemo, Marlin and Nemo are what type of fish? And Dan. I've got to keep saying and Dan. Uh, so, Nicholas, okay, Nicholas going with clownfish. Uh, Naomi's done the same thing, clownfish. Uh, what else have we got? We got my brother's there with clownfish as well. Uh, my parents and Dan are there with clownfish. Uh, um, John's clownfish. Five Monkey Boy, welcome to the stream. Uh, clownfish. Yep. Uh, the answer is indeed clownfish, uh, which is what I was about to say. Uh, oh, thank you very much, uh, Five Monkey Boy, there for, for hosting me on your channel. Appreciate it. Uh, so this morning when they were on the the radio and uh, the little girl that answered the question uh she was so close that they did give her the point uh but she answered cloudfish oh i know i was like oh and they went do you know what it's close enough we're gonna give you the point <laughs> uh i'm good five monkey boy uh I'm, I'm 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 doing pretty good I was watching, i'm enjoying I this quiz the last one i heard it was actually a teacher and a pupil from the same school and they were like, oh, is she a good teacher? And she was like, oh, she's my favourite. I was like, oh, you're sucking up there. <laughs> <laughs> and she won uh, the kid one as well. The kid oh, one. well, there you go. And the kid will just go back into school and say, don't listen to that teacher. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> uh, so that was question number three, clownfish. Uh, we do seem to have uh, something that Wookie Bump has left floating around on my screen there. It looks like it's head or something. I know, I can't even move it. I could just like make him disappear like that. Um, when he's back, I'll bring him back. Uh, in The Incredibles, what's Frozone's actual first name? Uh, <laughs> Tina's gone, Monkey Bum's gone for a poo. See you in two. Um, uh, hey Ben, how are you doing? Uh, a little bit late to the party, but you know, better late than never. Um, and no worries, five Monkey Bum. 
It's easy. Uh, what did you What did you get, Jess? Hey, we never got one. You didn't get we, an answer for this one. He said buddy, and then he was like, "Oh no, that's the um, villain." So we never got okay. one. We uh, well, like our way through, but we just couldn't think of Naomi, one. Naomi, uh, the real monkey bum, uh, put Lucius. Uh, and then she's written Lucius. Uh, she's added a few extra S's in there. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tina, have you been having a couple to drink as well tonight? <laughs> Putting little poo emojis. That's me! Oh, oh that's that you! Mark? I keep seeing people's <laughs> names. And get stop tagging people. It's it's confusing oh, me. I'm seeing I'll their name talking. and I'm like, it's Tina. I'll stop talking. Okay. <laughs> I apologize, Tina. It's Jess has had to have a few drinks tonight. Uh <laughs> probably had nothing. Uh so no one else is answering for this question? No one's no one's sure of the answer. Naomi, looks like you are the official monkey bum. Uh and you are actually spot on there with Lucius. So well done. Is that monkey bum back? Yeah, I'm like, Charlie yep. probably oh, is oh, tiny. Oh, it was up. Oh, make you reappear on the screen again. <laughs> I, I am, I am, I am a bit tired. Yeah, you know, writing quizzes at four o'clock in the morning so that we have a quiz ready for everyone to enjoy really takes it out of you, especially when you've got like you've got to work all day uh, the next day and then get home, quick have tea, and then run this quiz. So yeah, it, it it takes its toll. It takes its toll. Uh, that was question four. Question five. What is Boo's nickname for Sully in Monster Thing? Uh, Monkey Bum, you got this one. We made yeah. Jess go, oh. Yeah. Uh, I said Kitty. Kitty. Uh, what did the chat think? It thinks. Kitty. Chris B's yep. gone with Kitty. Uh, my parents there have gone with Kitty. Parents and Dan have gone with Kitty. Uh, Nicholas also gone with Kitty. Jess has just put up an emoji of Kitty trying to beat Tina to it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Mike, did you not get that one then? Because you said Lucius best, but he only remembered when he saw Lucius. Did you not get that one then? Ooh. He's, he's a point down, he's a point down. Uh, the answer to this question, question number five, Kitty. Oh yes, well done. Uh, absolutely spot on there. Kitty is the correct answer. Question number six. What is the name of the main rats, uncles, granddads, fathers, brothers, sisters, daughters, ex-teacher uh, in Ratatouille? Someone went with rent. <laughs> <laughs> John, uh, Tina, I love the emoji. You might, you might wanna, you might wanna lay off the uh, the old alcohol these days, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Rent, Remy. Uh, Naomi's gone with Remy as well. Tina uh, with Remy, and she's found the emoji. Uh, Christine there with Remy. Uh, Jess, is that what you got? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Remy is correct. Uh, well done, everybody who got that. Uh, sorry, Sean, you're not allowed to point. You got Ren. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> you got. You got. You got it. You got it. Uh, question number seven. What was the name of the little girl who was the centre of Inside Out? Now, do you know this one? Yeah. Yeah. You assumed it. Well, I was looking at what was. The name of the little girl who was the centre of Inside Out. I'm thinking, well, was there a little girl in in the mind type thing? I can't try to remember what it is, but yeah. I'm trying to think of you trying to be clever with your wording. Uh, no, she was she was just the centre of it. It was all about her, really, wasn't it? So all about the little girl. But yeah, we uh, and Naomi's in there with Riley. John's saying he has no idea. Is that what you went with, Riley? Yeah, yeah we did went Riley. Yeah. I'm curious if anybody else. If if you haven't watched Inside Out, it is a very enjoyable film. I did enjoy that one. I really did like it. Yeah. Uh, Tina's unsure about this one. Nicola went with Rose. Good, good, 
got a good guess as any. Oh, there you go. Abby's saying they got two out of seven, which means my brother definitely did not get the seven out of seven. Riley is the correct answer. Well done to everybody who got that one. Okay. And that is the end of this round. So the scores are uh, two out of seven for Abby. And I assume uh, my brother as well. My brother's saying he got seven out of seven. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm gonna start trusting Abby's scores now. I think. Uh, what did you get? Five. Five. Uh, we've got uh, Nicola with four out of seven. Naomi with six out of seven. Uh, Sean and Tina got two out of seven. So snap with Abby on that one. Uh, Christine only got two. Uh, three out of seven for Chris B. Four out of seven for my parents and my brother. Uh, and yeah, they should watch Inside Out. It is good. Uh, Liz and Dan only got uh, five out of seven. Oh, five out of seven. Is this because Dan's not a big Disney person and, and doesn't know? I know that wasn't a Disney round, but it's there's Disney films in there. So yeah, links. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Nicol Nicola's only just realised Abby, Sean, and Tina are in the chat. She's saying hi to them. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tina's saying welcome to Michael and Google. Uh, and if Nikki's playing with Mike, I should say hi, hi to Mike as well, if he's here. Uh, okay, so that was the Pixar round. Well done to everybody on that round. Uh, not a strong round, I don't say. I don't think. No, it wasn't a many with high scores on that one. Uh, Nicholas, no, he's glued to the TV. All right, fair enough. No priorities and all that. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, Liz says basically he's not a fan of Disney, so Dan, Dan was like, nah, I'm not, I'm just not even going to partake in this round. Um... Right, okay, so uh, Dingbats. Uh, have you heard of Dingbats? You, Monkey Bum, you know what Dingbats are. Uh, I explained yeah. to Jess what Dingbats are. Uh, Dingbats are basically, I'm going to give you sort of, uh, I think the majority of these are just words, uh, and you've basically got to try and figure out the hidden meaning behind the, the image slash word that I'm going to give you. Um, I'm going to give you a really easy one to work out to begin with. Uh, you, you'll you'll get it straight away, I'm sure. Uh, and hopefully that will help you understand uh, how dingbats work. Okay. Uh, and Chef is back. Uh, the internet went down for work at work. Uh, so uh, it's it's Chef and Mrs. Chef. Is Baby right. Chef here? Is Baby Chef joining in? Or is Baby Chef in bed where she should be? Um, all right, okay, so we're gonna go on to dingbats. We'll start off with the first question. And like I say, if you don't really understand how, how this is good, maybe Chef should be sleeping. Um, gives you gives you and, uh, and Mrs. Chef time to uh, do my quiz. So. <laughs> well, my dad's saying he's innocent. Not with the jokes that you come out with, Dad. Uh, right, first question of dingbat is this. There you go. You can see that right there. Um, the hidden meaning behind it, I guess. A nice easy one to start with. Like I say, if you don't understand the question, or if you don't understand how this round works, please just write in the chat and tell me, and I'll try and explain it again in another way. When, when me and my darling wife got married uh, at the uh, like the evening do to uh, have a bit of fun. We actually had a load of these dingbat cards all over the place just for people. We had the kids legging it around trying to find them all and answer the questions. Just thought of trying to entertain the kids a bit. It was good fun. Ah, see, I didn't know this. So you're going to be a pro at this round. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah. know, I don't know whether there'll be a pro. Yeah. Bro. No, we're, we're expecting big things for you here, Monkey Bill. We're expecting thing, big things for you. And I'm, expect, I'm expecting big things from uh, the, the real Monkey Bum too. Well, how old she... Would have been seven. So she would have been one of the kids running around trying to answer them all. So she should know them all. There we go. Pressure's on, monkey bum. Like original monkey bum, real monkey bum. <laughs> it's getting confusing now, isn't it? <laughs> I know, right? That's why I said I'm just going to stick with Naomi. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's the first question. I hope everybody's uh, understands how this works. Let's move on to question number two.
I think you've got this one? Yeah. Yeah? Fairly easy? Fairly straightforward? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, Jeff's, Jeff's confident as well. Let's move on to question number three. I like picture rounds. I don't have to talk as much. I got this. Are you proud of me? You that got it, have you? I, I got it. Ooh. Were you looking at that monkey bum going, right, what is it? Trying to work this out, trying to figure it out. And no, Jesse's there. I'm already typing it. As well as like, okay, right. Oh, that's that. Look down to the keyboard. And I saw a message pop was like, oh, she's on here. But in the time it took, we got to the keyboard, she'd written it. And it was all spelled correctly. <laughs> So she even had time to write it slowly, but she made sure she spelled it correctly. That's how long it took you, Monkey Bum. I will be bring out the teacher in me and say, where's the capital? Uh, yeah. Where's one? Oh, don't do it. <laughs> where's the what? The capital letter. Yeah. Uh, oh. I was too busy typing excited because I actually got one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's question number three. Question number four. Ah. <laughs> so Jess is, I, I was going to say Jess is, Jess is saying, making that noise because she's not sure what it is, but actually no, she's just reading it. Uh. Ouch. Chef was saying the other ones are easy. How about this one, Chef? Is this one easy? Have you got this Ooh, one? Oh, yeah. Or have you got an answer? Thanks. So. Cool ideas. Yeah. Oh, Chef's like, pass on this one. He's like, oh, he spoke too soon. He was like, easy. He's like, oh, no, no, this one's, this one's not so much. Chef, oh, this one is harder, yeah. Earlier on, I was like, we're going to get seven out of seven. Next question came up, and I was like, yep, nope. We're not doing that. He's like, I've got this one. I've got this one. Dead easy. I knew exactly what the answer was. And then she went, I reckon it's this. And then I showed her and it wasn't. Uh, so moving on to question number five. Uh, uh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Nice. Yeah, both me and Monkey Bum both like... Knocked back by that one. Yep, Chef's got this one as well. This is me. <laughs> Lol, drug. This is me. It's you, yeah. <laughs> Just saying it's all middle class people. <laughs> okay, so that's question number five. Question number six. <laughs> Crispy, is this a capsule? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jess, I read that as um, <laughs> and buns. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she, she's got the right answer. I added a, the letter N to the last word, so I <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, Chef's got this one as well. Chef's got this one as well. <laughs> Uh, Christine agrees with Chris's comment. Okay, that's question number six. Quite, I think that was quite an easy one. Then moving on to the final question of the Dingbats round. Me -he. No, no, no. <laughs> Hate that song. Hate it, hate it, hate that I hate it even more when I hear the tune and I actually start humming along to it. That's what I hate so much about it. So that's question number seven. Do you think you've got this one? Oh, I think I don't think Monkey Bum's sure. He's a bit, he's a bit... Have you got one, Jess? Have you got it? I like Jess's answer. Yeah. 
I quite like it. Up. Are we going with that? Yeah. All right. Okay, so those were the seven questions of this Dingbats round. Uh, and let's go back through and see how everybody did. Question number one. I'm not going to ask uh, Justin Monkey Bomb on this one. I think they, they know how Dingbats works. I think this is one of the easiest ones. It's a good example question yeah. to get people to kind of understand how it works. Uh, let's see what people thought. Just wait for the chat. Uh, my parents are going in there quite quickly with an answer. They put crossroads. Chef also put crossroads. Uh, we've got Tina there with crossroads. Chris B, Naomi, uh, yeah, yeah. Nicola, Sean, all there with crossroads. Yeah, that's what we went with as well. Yeah, crossroads. Yeah. Crossroads is correct. Of course it is. Well done. <laughs> Question number two. <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> to be fair, I don't even know why I say this. It's probably Dan answering 90% of the questions. It's probably Dan answering 90% of the questions anyway, so I should just... If my mum or dad's name should come off, I should just say Dan. Uh, Nicola Dan, has put in forever and ever. <laughs> Jeff's gone with forever and ever as well. Uh, my parents and Dan. I've gone with forever and ever. <laughs> Naomi, Tina, John, forever and ever. Is that what you got? Yeah. Yeah, and like I say, for those people who weren't too sure about this round, you've got four evers and then an end another ever. So four ever and ever. Hold on. Okay, correct on that one. And moving on to question number three. Dan, have you got an answer? <laughs> Gonna make sure you're included, Dan. I'm not. I'm not ruling you out. You should get in the chat and chat with us as well. Uh, Chef's gone with London Underground. Nicola, Tina, and my parents and Dan have also gone with London Underground. How about you, Jess? Uh, yeah, we went for that one. Yeah, that was one that Jess said she was proud of. Yeah, She's like, you'll be proud of me. I got this one. So quick at that one. Is she gone? Is she uh, off? Yeah, she snipped off, yeah. Alright, okay, I didn't hear her say that. Uh, the answer there is London Underground. So, yes, well done to everybody else who got that as well. Uh, I see that Chris, Sean, and Christine have also got it as well. So, well done. Question number four. One that's slightly more difficult. One of the harder questions. I wonder if anybody's going to get this one. couldn't hold it any longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got ouch and ah. Uh, Christine's going with shout out loud. Yeah, see where you're going with that. See where you're going with that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently Dan is the one typing all the answers in. So, yeah, you should, you should do it on your own phone. And then it gets me an extra viewer as well, Dan. Uh, so Christine's shout out loud. We've got Sean with screaming out loud. Tina shouting out loud. Liz has gone with growing pains. Did you just get one answer for this? You didn't, did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, did you? What, what did you get? We've got shout out loud or shout in pain. Shout out in pain, yeah. Shout out loud or shout in shout pain. pain. Mm. Uh, Nicola's just confused by the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the answer is, <clears throat> and I will tell you the answer before I show it off so you can actually see, just sort of see it on the screen as well. Uh, the answer is, as Liz has said, uh, growing pains. So it's pains, you know, giving out in pain, ouch, ah, uh, and they are growing from small, growing up. Growing pains. Uh, good answers though for those like shout out loud because obviously it's, it looks like it's getting louder. Uh, I'll scream it out loud. But Liz, yep, yeah, absolutely spot on there. I think you're the only one who got that answer right, which is growing pain. So, well done there. I think even Chef was a bit confused on that one. Um, he's done quite well with this round so far. Uh, question number five. All middle class people. 
definitely me. This one's definitely me. <laughs> it's just like baffle.com. Uh, Nicola, Tina, uh, Naomi have all put on overwork, underpaid. Uh, Chef's also gone with overworked and underpaid. Uh, Jess? Overworked and underpaid. There we go. Overworked and underpaid. Uh, Chris B is uh, in there with overworked and underpaid as well. So is Sean. Overworked and underpaid. Me. Me, definitely. And let's see if I get this right. Oh, over there. That guy there. Overworked, underpaid. And, and the one in the background, underworked and underpaid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's yes. the only problem. Jesse's the backwards one on that one. Yeah. She's uh -huh. underworked and underpaid. Uh, underpaid. Uh, no, I said underworked and underpaid. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so that was question number five. Hold on to everybody who got that correct. Question number six. Buns. Double decker buns. <laughs> double decker buns. <laughs> uh, we've got double decker bus. Uh, Chris B is like many a true word. Well, Chris, you know what you can do? Money. How are we? Uh, double decker bus, double decker bus, double decker bus. Everyone there seems to be putting double decker bus. I think this one seems to be quite an easy one. The World Decker Bus is correct. Monkey Bum's Googling the answers. No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well done there, Christine, as well, there with Double Decker Bus. Okay, uh, no, Jess, you, you lost the point. It's not Double Decker Buns. Uh, question number seven. Now, Jess, you said you had a good answer for this one. <laughs> no, not I sure it was like a joke, but Tim thought it was a good answer. <laughs> All right, okay. That, Go on then. Clever. Go on. Meme. Meme. Yeah. Me, so, me, me, me. I like me? it. I like it. Meme. <laughs> me repeat. Me. Uh, my parents have gone with repeat after me. Uh, Christine's gone with say after me. Uh, Chris B there, repeat after me as well. Sean's also gone with repeat after me. Tina just said after me. Just after me. Uh, Chef's gone with repeat after me as well. He likes that. He thinks that's a good answer. Copying someone else's. Only joking, Chef. <laughs> uh, the thing is, Chef, I wonder how many how many answers are you getting and how many is Mrs. Chef getting here? That's the question. Uh, then we've got Nicola there with repeat after me. And <laughs> Jess is saying... And I, and I got this right this time. Jess is saying, no, it's meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's typing, not me. Fair enough. So it's, oh, it's Mrs. Chef. Chef that's getting it's Mrs. Chef that's getting getting the answers here. Uh the answer is indeed repeat after me. Well done there. And Chef's wondering where uh, where his cookies are. We're gonna eat them this afternoon. Oh, We're eating them the last Very soon. two. Uh, okay, so well done to everybody on that one with repeat after me. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Nicola's in there very quickly. She wants to tell everybody that she got six out of seven. Uh, that is a really good score. Eat them on live. <laughs> eat them on live stream. Uh, do you know what? the thing is? We're not going to be doing that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going downstairs. We're going to be warming them up. And we're going to be adding some Maltese ice cream to them from Cumbrian Cow, which is um, a little local the best ice cream shop. Ice cream shop in the world. Best ice cream shop in the world. There we go. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, so what have we got? So Sean's there with six out of seven. Uh, we've got my parents and Dan on six out of seven. Tina, six out of seven. Seven out of seven for Liz. And uh, Liz and Dan. Uh, we've got uh, Chris. He got six out of seven. Uh, when lockdown's over, we will come over to your restaurant and bring you cookies. Haha. Uh, yes, we will, Jess. That is true. Uh, six out of seven for Abby and uh, Mike. Although Mike seems to be still getting his seven out of seven. Abby's getting less points. I don't know how they're doing it. Mike just seems to be getting it. It's like, no, Abby, I said this. So that's what I'm getting. I'm taking the point. I said the answer that someone else put up after they put it up. Uh, so Naomi's gone with five out of seven. It's a good score. Very good score. 
Uh, Christine there, six out of seven. Definitely a much stronger round there, Christine. Uh, Chef there with six out of seven as well. And bring ice cream as well then. Oh yeah, we need them. That's the thing, we can't, we'd have to bring the ice cream because it's from the, the best ice cream in the world. Mm. Uh, okay, so we are now at the... What was I that? Had a I've had a message from one who so thinks meme is a better answer than them repeat after me. She prefers meme. I think, I, I think meme is... I think meme is very clever. I do I, I do I think it is very clever. However, it Can was repeat after me. <laughs> I'll give you half a point. Half a point. Half a point. For, a for point. being clever about it. We're not uh, gonna win, so I'm gonna have a full point. <laughs> I don't know, you you've had some really strong rounds. You've had some strong rounds. Okay, so we are now on to the last round. The rounds that Jess is always scared of and terrified of and she hates. But who knows? We might actually do pretty well. Anagrams. Uh, Din's gone. His favorite round. He came in, didn't do his favorite round, and left. Uh, thought Google was your best friend, Tina. <laughs> uh, so, the anagrams round. This round uh, does have a theme. Okay. I'm excited. I'm not Jess is excited. What was that? Oh, Monkey Bum's frozen again. I locked my camera. Oh, Lights he's locked his camera. You'll be back soon, I'm sure, if you can fix it. Okay, uh, the anagrams round, the theme for this round is food and the drink. In the kitchen's just started playing Rock FM. What? Why? Just, Tell it to stop. To turn on the lamp, and the one in here I turned on the lamp, phone. and then the one in the kitchen went, I'm now tuning into Rock FM, and it's playing it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, okay. So the anagram round is food and drink. Monkey Bum is back on the screen, right. and let's let's begin. Question number one: Car dust. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think car dust is a very good food thing. I wouldn't eat or drink that. Um, So my brother's gone, thought Google was your best friend. And then uh, Sean, even in, in Sean's drunken state, he's gone, what about Alexa? Huh? <laughs> and Mike's like, never thought about abusing Alexa. I'll be, I'll be careful with your word in there, Mike. I don't think abusing Alexa is a, a very nice thing to do. <laughs> Although, Mike, I will... <laughs> Is one of the main reasons why so many people join the stream. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk off. Know. I'll, I'll <laughs> walk off. Just, just can keep laughing. Do you know? What? I was tempted. I was oh. thinking about what I think. I was thinking what I might do is I might record Jesse's laugh, and then just put her laugh on every time I get a subscriber. I get more subscribers because people just click it just to listen to the laugh. <laughs> my mum's just messaging me going, "What a laugh!" <laughs> <laughs> own mistake <laughs> she is it's, it's, she's, she's, made, she's broken herself <laughs> oh, oh. like uh, i didn't realize catfully was here catfully have you been watching for a while oh. it's like oh. but yeah but, but chris is there going like laugh unless he hasn't been watching he just just started laughing he, 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 just, he just heard it <laughs> he just knew and was like, I need to join the chat now. I need to come and watch the, ch the stream now because I know Jess is going to be laughing. So. Um, I think, I think, I was going to say, I think we've been, I think we've been on this question long enough. It's given Chef enough time to work it out. Um, I would have moved on by now, but you know, Jess is laughing. Uh, let's move on. Question number two. Raw inert meal. Chris said, no, I came in when I heard the laugh from home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like dear the, me. The whole, the whole street's just walking up. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why <laughs> when we go through the answers. Oh, Jess, Jess. Jason's just said, thanks for waking up my daughter. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's, my, it's your fault that you have your TV on or whatever on that loud. <laughs> it's my fault. 
Uh, <laughs> but but welcome, Jason. You're here Hello. again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> So, raw, inert meal. Have you even had a go at this one, Jess? You... I've got it. You got no, it? No, no, no. No? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Okay, moving yeah, on to question number three. Change map. No, no, no. Stop it, Google. Stop it. Some people stop telling me to say Google. Google's trying to talk to me. <laughs> My phone just started like going, oh, I want to start giving you some answers. <laughs> no, no, stop it. Stop. <laughs> so there you go, question number three. Change map. I'm really self-conscious now. I just tilted my head and thinking, I was like, no, you keep coming on the map. <laughs> <It's>, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Go away. Shush. Okay, question number four. No, it's not this. And cool I know the cheat. word the isn't in there, but ch game is in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Ch game. I hope Nano's still here right now. <laughs> uh, question number four there. Cool cheat. But Nano might not be, but Catfly is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The game, Capley. You missed out on uh, question number one of the general knowledge round. It was great. Oh, it was number we'll keep, two, wasn't we'll, it? No, it was question number one. I just changed the first question on that round. <sighs> so, question number four there is cool cheat. Have we had enough time for that one? No. No? Give you a little bit longer. There we go, there's a little bit longer. Let's move on to question number five. Past eight. And after eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not, we're not playing dingbats. We're not playing dingbats still. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Catfly. Please swap to uh, Twitch to increase my stat. I don't think I'm doing too badly on Twitch. I've got a fair few. I've got a few viewers. It should uh, uh, increase my stats up. Ten or eleven at one point. Mm. Yeah, you. I'm trying. To, I'm point. trying to get Twitch affiliate, so then I can. Uh, oh, no. I'll stream to Twitch and maybe try and earn actually earn some pennies from doing these streams. Uh, un over overworked, underpaid, and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, so that was question number five, past eight. Question number six. Order pig. I'm expecting chef to get every answer here. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure on this chef. A lot of pressure on you, man. Uh, Catfleet's like BRB, uh, needs ice for his drink. Yeah, do you know what? I need drink for my drink. I'm, kind of, I'm busy. busy. You could leave an anagram on, come down and pour yourself one. <laughs> You're right, I could. Or I could just get to the end, then pour myself another rum, have some ice cream, have some cookies, come back up and do a Rocket League stream. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That was one of my questions in one of my previous quizzes. Yeah, it was. So, question number six there. Order pig. I, I like to order pig. The bacon. And question number seven there. Last question. In real egg. Yeah, for anybody who wants to, if you if you want to have a bit of a laugh and watch some, um, you know, of, of we're not we're not quite middle aged, just under under middle aged men try to uh, <laughs> do really well at Rocket League um, and fail miserably at it, um, then after this stream, uh, probably around about 
maybe quarter to 11 or something like that we'll probably do some rocket league uh and if you don't want to watch it live then bear in mind you can always watch it later and have a laugh at us uh, always good fun <laughs> he's like talk about yourself <laughs> jeff you're older than me man i'm not the oldest one anymore oh does that mean i'm the youngest score <laughs> As by, by a year. <laughs> I'll take it. So, question number seven there. In real egg. Now, have we had enough time for all of them? He's like, 15 days. Respect your elders. <laughs> I respect you. Please, cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My mum's like... I say my mum's like... Um, I'm pretty sure it's Dan writing this, so I think Dad has destroyed this one. I think my dad's got this one quite in the bag. Uh, right, in real leg, that was the last one of that one, and the end of that category. Okay, let's uh, let's go back through uh, those questions and uh, see the answers. See how see how people did. So we've got question one there with car dust. This is the one that broke Jess. Okay, okay, so Jess, explain to me what you did to, to make this break you, because it'd be great to break you again. So, Tim wrote the answer, custard. And then custard. I wrote back to Tim, yes. And then I went on my word pad and I started to write in the answer, but instead of writing custard, I wrote, yes, turd. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just broke us off. Do you know what, Jess? The C and the Y aren't even anywhere near each other. I know, but I think because I was just thinking of the word yes. <laughs> yes You're turd. like, yes, I've got this one. <laughs> yes, turd. <sighs> uh, we have a whole chat. I'm in oh, I spam my chat here going saying we've got Chef coming in with custard very quickly. Uh, Sean there with custard. Tina, Naomi, uh, my parents and Dan. Oh, all I say, my parents and Dan. I think this one sees me my dad this one. Uh, Nicola, Christine, uh, Chris, they've all written custard. Uh, Jason's also said custard. Is he mocking your age, chef? He's only doing that because I do it to him all the time. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, Cat Flea's only, what, two months younger than me? Uh, I'm just too much older. Uh, no, no, don't 1v1 me. You'll lose, man. No, you won't. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was the answer to the question one, Custard. Question number two, raw inert meal. <laughs> That's fighting talk. No, it's losing talk, but it is losing talk. And we've got, uh, so my mum got this one. He went with mineral water. Uh, Naomi's gone with mineral water as well. Sean and Liz both with mineral water. Uh, that's a stream for directly after the quiz, I reckon. No, it's not. No, it's really not. It's really not. Uh, chef's there with mineral water as well. Christine, Nicola, and Jason all there with mineral water. Uh, did, is that what you guys got? You? Yeah. This yeah. One? Mineral water is correct. Well done. Question number three, change map. Did you get one for this one? Uh, don't think no. so. Uh, Sean uh, is like, I've had enough to drink tonight, but I'm I'm going to get in there quick with champagne. Celebratory drink. Tina's in there straight after with champagne and the emoji. Uh, Naomi also with champagne. Uh, my parents and Dan. Champagne. Christine. Chef. Uh, Nicola. Jason. All there with champagne as well. Correct answer. Champagne. Well done. Or champagne. Question number four. Who will cheat? Now please tell me you got this one. Yeah? Yes! Nice easy one. 
Yeah, Nicola, I'm going to give you that. You got, oh no, you already wrote it above anyway. Yep, champagne. She also found the little emoji as well. Uh, go on then, Jess, what'd you get? Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, Naomi also got chocolate. Uh, Sean, uh, chocolate, which I love, apparently. He, he loves these chocolates. Uh, parents and Dan, uh, Chef, Christine, Tina, Jason. Jess is found the chocolate emoji as well. Tina beat you to it. Uh, Chris I'll and. Try to beat her. <laughs> and Nicola also there got chocolate. I'm Answer is chocolate. I think I think there's quite a lot of people who love chocolate. My brother, uh, no, my brother. My my dad, however, Sean, he would probably disagree with you. He's not a fan of chocolate. Although we'll eat three eggs like there's no tomorrow. Love them. Uh, or bounties, though. Don't eat chocolate. He enjoys them too, which is great because I hate them, so he can have mine. Uh. Question number five, past eight. Mm. Yes? We never got one. You didn't get this one? No. No? Uh, Sean's in there. Sean's like champagne and spaghetti and chocolate. Mm. They're my things. Uh, Naomi's there with spaghetti and... Ah, see, now, now, now Naomi's trying to beat Dina to the emojis and she did it. You got it. <laughs> Uh, so Naomi got the uh, spaghetti with the emoji. Uh, parents and Dan got spaghetti. Uh, Tina, Christine, Chef, uh, Chris B, Jason all got spaghetti as well. Uh, my dad says, I was just offered chocolate and I turned it down. You're making enemies here, Dad. You're making enemies here. Get off this stream. See? This isn't a fan. Uh, spaghetti is the correct answer. Well done uh, to everybody who got that. Question number six. Order pig. Oh, Nicola didn't get that one. Unlucky. The anagrams, they're not for everyone. I don't think I would get most of these, to be honest. The only reason I know them is because I found them. So I don't think I would do too well in this round at all. Uh, did oh, you guys get one? For the emojis now. I know, they're all they're all racing for it, aren't they? They're like, you know, I want to put the emoji in. John's getting there now uh, with porridge and the emoji. Uh, and I, uh, just beat uh, just beat Naomi to it. Just beat Naomi to it. Uh, we've got um, parents porridge. Yeah, everyone's going with porridge there. Yep, everybody's put that. Is that what you guys I got? I don't know what I got. What would you get? Dog ah uh, ah uh, pie. <laughs> Dog. That's like last time when you got goat pie. Yeah, I was um, determined it was you a just, pie. You're just like everything is a pie, and I'm gonna stick whatever other letters I can <laughs> fit into it. So goat pie. Dog ah uh, ah uh, pie. Uh, <laughs> it is indeed porridge. Well done to all those people who put correct answers. Uh, um, and the final question of this round and the whole entire quiz this week is in real egg. I got this one. Did you? Yeah. Are you going to tell us with an emoji? Um, no. Uh, all right. You just don't <laughs> want to tell us at all. But well, then what is it? Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Uh, Naomi has got in there with ginger ale and she's tried to find an emoji, but because the ginger ale itself doesn't have an emoji, she's put a pint. That's, that's as good as, I think that's as close <laughs> as you're going to get. Um, are you okay, Jess? I'm laughing at Tina. <laughs> Tina. Back uh, off, I'm the emoji queen. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that message has only just come off my mind. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, yeah, every, everybody seems to get uh, ginger ale. Uh, and I, I like the fact... See, that's why Tina should have just been like, I'm the emoji queen and just spam like 20 emojis. Although she might have been silent for it if she had them. Uh, chef's coming in with a few chef emojis. They're cool. I like them. Uh, Sean didn't get this one. Never mind, uh, Sean. Uh, ginger ale there for Tina and ginger ale for me. Oh. Uh, the answer is, in fact, ginger ale. <laughs> It'd be funny if it wasn't. Everyone's there putting all this going, yeah, it's ginger ale. It's like, no, it's ale of the ginger. Uh, right. Okay, that's the end of that round. So what's our scores? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, um, oh, oh, oh on this round. On this round? Out of the seven, I'd literally look at the word for a few seconds and yell the answer at us. Really? So my dad's pretty good at the anagrams, it would seem. He's just like, 
Uh, yeah, I can see it. It's this. 7 out of 7. Chef's there with 7 out of 7 as well. I expected as much, to be fair. A chef not getting the food and drinks getting any wrong would have been, would have been something wrong. Uh, Jason said it's horrible stuff. It, it is. I'm not. No. Did you feel? No. no. Uh, Nicola with 6 out of 7. Liz got 7 out of 7. Uh, Chris B with 5 out of 7. Sean, 6. Uh, Naomi, uh, my brother apparently got 7 out of 7 again. Uh, where's Abby's comment? I want to see what Abby wrote. <laughs> and whether or not they did actually get 7 out of 7. Uh, then we've got uh, Tina with 6 out of 7. Uh, hello, Devin. We're just about to finish the stream. Hey, Devin. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome over, though. Uh, we will be doing some Rocket League soon, however. If you're, if you're interested in sticking by and watching. Uh, Jason got 7 out of 7. Well done. That was her first, Christine's first full marks with, uh, on our round. So there you go. Uh, then we've got... So, so yeah. Um, a, a strong round for all, all participating. Okay. Yeah. That is the end of the round and the end of the quiz. I need like an end of quiz round, don't I? Like an end of quiz screen that I can jump to and go, thank you for joining. That's great. Uh, if everyone wants to put up their scores now, and we'll see how everyone did. Uh, my parents are in there with 56. What's the total scores this week? There's an extra seven points to be, to be had. So we're looking at uh, 70. 70 points. 70 points up for grabs. So my parents have gone with 56 out of 70. Uh, wow. Chef, 13 out of 14. Not bad when you only did two rounds. It's true. It's true. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're right up there. You'd have, you'd have been a, a, a strong competitor for the... The number one spot uh liz got liz liz got 59 out of 70. uh naomi got 60.5 i don't know where she got the point five from but 60. Uh, they had meme as well by looks that's half point like oh, really. oh you're taking meme because you had meme as well yeah. and that's what i gave because my brother got 70 saying? out of 70. Oh. i don't think so uh, abby <laughs> said she uh, abby said they got Wait. 51 out of 70 so i'm going with that but it does seem Based Naomi. on what I can see here, the Naomi, the original monkey bomb, is actually the top scorer for today with just 1.5 points more than Liz and Dan. Wow. Is, is, is it happened? Have we actually knocked Liz and Dan off the top spot? Jason's like, I've got 7 out of 7, that's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jason. Uh, yeah, I, nobody else is putting uh, scores up. Uh, Chris B got 50 out of 7, 70, which is, I think there is an average here of around about 50. Which is, I think that's that's a really good score. How rude. <laughs> and How Naomi's rude. like, I was like, let's go in your face, Tim. Uh, uh, just right, each, well, I, what she's I will, doing. I will take the name of Tim. You can be more than for tonight because you did win. Uh, that was amazing. For tonight, I, is that what you're saying? She can be more well, than She's more than forever. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, but do you know what, Naomi? Absolutely fantastic job. I mean, this That's is the first awesome. time you've joined the quiz, and I, I, it is the first time, isn't it? Yeah, you haven't, you haven't been in yeah, before. Yeah, have you? Been in anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first, first time you've been in the quiz, and you have claimed the top spot. But not only have you claimed the top spot, the the winners, the ones who have been at top spot for three weeks on the run, Liz and Dan, who have been absolutely brilliant, and, um, you know, done really well with the quizzes, uh, you've knocked them off that top spot. So you have many <laughs> proud moments to have there. So absolutely well done. Uh, it looks like, like Liz yeah, came third this week. <laughs> uh, Mike, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, as if you got 54, Nikki, when you came in late. Uh, she might have done. Might have done really well. She might have like, yeah, didn't need to do the first round. Um, It's only seven points for the first round. <laughs> What's uh, this? I'm being attacked. It's not fair. There you go. Uh, Liz, is, Liz is conceding defeat there with well done, Naomi. So, yeah, well done there. Uh, and it looks like uh, you never know. Me. Apparently, she was playing with Mike. So, Abby claims anyway. <laughs> Don't be upset, Tim. And Naomi fix go to meeting. <laughs> 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 Uh, when Monkey Bum can't fix something, call on Monkey Bum, uh, the real oh, one. That's from the imposter, you the real one who can. Who knows exactly, yeah, uh, exactly. So, so uh, the, but the real yeah, yeah, yeah let's, well. let's 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 jump off that screen. We'll jump over to this one now. 
yeah, so well done to everybody on that quiz. I think it's been a good fun quiz. I've enjoyed yeah. it. Um, and uh, Naomi, is it, is it beginner's luck though? Is that beginner's luck? Will she will she be able to hold on to the top spot next she did, week? She did have help from my parents, so it's yeah, a team it's effort. a team effort. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Uh, but will they be able to hold on to the number one spot for next week? I have to come back next that's, week. And that, that's the question. Know. That's the question. Uh, right. Okay. Well, that was the quiz for this week. What What did we think? Uh, the, we, like there the was rounds. a lot. Of, there was a lot of changes. Uh, you like the new rounds? Yeah. What do we think of the? I mean, I know this is like kind of thing about a me more than about the actual rounds. But what do we think of the graphics? Like, do we like the new updated design? Well, you know, like and. I mean, I had to make the design bigger because the bars that went up last time, they were too small to put the images in. Yeah. Uh, Jeff saying it's awful. <laughs> awfully oh, nice. Awfully nice. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, and yeah, so I had to make like a bigger area to be able to put the images in so that yeah, they could be bigger on the screen. So that, uh, a little bit clearer to see. Um, and thank you, Christine. I appreciate it. Uh, no. Apart from the blocks round, it was a good. It was a good quiz, but apart from the block round, <laughs> that seems to be quite a challenging one. Quite a few people, few people look at yeah. that one. Just get... I like the blocks round purely on the fact that it is challenging. It's it's a little bit more difficult for people. It makes people think. Hmm, I'm not too sure what that could be. Um, and but then but then when you explain to what the modder is, it's like I see it. I do. I see it. It's right there. We had a, we had a request. Um, My mum said we have an eight round that, or an hour round. 80s music. Oh, we could have another round because, I mean, I've got Mama themed Mia. rounds. I do have a themed round, so maybe we could sit that in at some point. Uh, yeah. Sean saying that my brother's a legend. Uh, are you saying he's a legend or a legend? Because he said up further, you got 77 out of 70 out of 70. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, which is quite funny, seeing as though my brother gave himself an extra seven points earlier for the for the double point round. <laughs> But you'd have thought he'd yeah. have come out with 77 out of 77, <laughs> but but he's he's clearly not very good at maths. Um, oh, I come back. I was hoping it before the anagram started. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying, Liz, because I mean, I was trying to think of a way that I could maybe get it so that I could put the the, the previous questions in as well. But with the, with the images being that big, it's just, it's so hard to be able to keep them on the screen. And because a lot of like, quite a number of people will be watching this on their phone. If you think like that sort of size screen where on their phone there's just a tiny little image and then you've got it even yeah. smaller when it's it just didn't work so it had to be sort of the way it is unfortunately but but i think that i think the graphics look cool i think that I, I tried to utilize more of the space behind us rather than just that little area um but but i'm getting all the requests from my mum and dad now my dad said he wants a periodic table now i had a sign <laughs> We did that. ask some we, we have. science round about that. It's true. I have done a, I have done a, a science round before, and who knows, yeah. the science round might re rear its head again next week. Uh, we, I, I mean, I put five image rounds in this week purely on the fact that I had some concepts I wanted to try out, see what people thought of them. Um, I think the silhouettes round was a, was a favourite. I think people quite enjoyed That's that good. one. Yeah. We've got a couple uh, of ideas for some picture rounds, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a couple of other ideas for picture rounds to try out. So I might do some more picture rounds next week. But I might add a few more question rounds in next week as well. Uh, might might stick the science one back in. There's a we've had sports rounds in, we've had uh we've had music rounds, TV series, movies, games. Uh there was a clues round. I actually removed that this week. I'm doing a lot of clues round the last few weeks. I removed that one. So uh and uh yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's been really good. So, uh, nope. Do appreciate you all turning up again, and uh, it's a shame. It is a shame that Viv did not turn up today because it is Viv's birthday, and Viv's been uh, quite a competitor throughout these these quizzes over the over the yeah. last few weeks and stuff. So, uh, if Viv today. decides that if if she's doing something uh, on her birthday today, I, I hope she has a, a wonderful birthday, and I hope that if she does decide that she's going to maybe watch this quiz tomorrow or another time. That she um she gets to see this and um see that we we're all here wishing her happy birthday as well. So I hope she has a good day. Or had a good day as it's um pretty much finished now. <laughs> so uh yeah. Uh, anyways, uh thank you all again. Uh do appreciate it. Um I did have um 
the other screen, it said hashtag the geek quiz. I really need it back up there again. Uh, if you if you if you are on Twitter, I do try to post out my quiz on Twitter so that you can follow it and you can keep up to date with it. Uh, and I've also got it on Facebook, my Facebook page. So if you follow me on there, then uh, I can you know keep you up to date with what's going on, and you can see Jess has been posting up some stuff as well, which is quite some funny, uh, funny stuff for the Seven. for the quizzes as well. So you can keep in touch with her Seven. on there as well. Seven. Seven. Which which would just work perfectly for seven questions, doesn't it? Like, yeah, exactly. So, what what I like about that one though is it you could almost argue that she is actually doing the quiz because she was holding a pencil in her hand, ready to write the answers. Yeah. Um. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we didn't get a Tim story tonight. What's going on with that, Dad? We did. Wasn't a very good one, but you did get one. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't get a Tim story tonight? It was a whole story. Did you fall asleep? Um, well, not true. all about being cute, but kind of. Uh, Din's back. He's whispering. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Jess again. <laughs> so welcome back, Din. Uh, you'll have to go back <laughs> back and do the uh, the anagram round and see how well you do. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I think uh, Chef's here too. In YouTube, Chef is now. here too. He's on YouTube. Oh, I get it now. I was like, yeah, you've been here the whole time. Oh, yeah, you are here. Um, punch some curried gold. <laughs> Thanks for <Ian>. your <laughs> Because it wasn't to be very good. Don't remember it. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> Fair enough. It there you go. You're going to have to come up with a better bet one next time. I, will have I, to come up with a... I, I quite like the um, the one with the Mono Desert Island. Oh, oh that yeah. One. I like that that one. One. That's a good one. I think I think maybe that's one for the next time. Yeah, I think he's got to be careful with that type of. I'll create a screen. Yeah. I'll create a screen for Monkey Bum and for Monkey Bum alone. So when we go, <laughs> when I have to take a break, it'll flicker. It'll flick off. He'll just be there, sat with a light shining down on him. It could be Monkey Bum's moment, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> where he can tell you a, a nice story, or maybe yeah. just like a fireplace in the background. And we'll get him a pipe. And a, and a big book. <laughs> just get a big book as well. Just read yeah, it. exactly. You just like pull up this big book. Like, Alright, okay. Uh, on the back of it, IT for dummies. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, uh, right, we're gonna we're gonna love you all and leave you. Thank you very much again for, for following along. Like I say, I do um post Hashtag Big Geek Quiz on Twitter if you enjoyed it. Uh, give us a like, uh, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitch. If you do like to watch us do some gaming, I'm going to try and do a lot more stuff over on Twitch. So if you do follow me on there and do come over and watch uh, on there as well. Uh, I My quizzes are streamed to there as well. But once I'm a, uh, an affiliate of Twitch, I won't be able to do that. I'll have to stream to one or the other. It'll just be YouTube probably for the quizzes. Uh, Monkey Bum Story Time. Yeah. We'll have to get some like really calming music, like really relaxing music. Yeah. First. Monkey bums. And we'll have to record like a little clip at the beginning where when we flick over it goes, Monkey bums, story time. <laughs> uh, I'll get my brother to do it in movie guy voice. That could um, work, yeah. yeah. Chef's like give him an outfit. <laughs> exactly. He, he can wear what he's wearing now, and then when it's Monkey bums story time or Monkey bums moment or whatever we're gonna call it, he can quickly go like, change, come back and be like, ah. Oh, is my story um, it, it would be brilliant if you had that that, that just that just made my day be fantastic uh, remember ball selector yes exactly that kind of situation yeah big ball selector outfit he apologized for that he said he wasn't happy with himself for doing that series he plummeted he said uh he looks back on it now and he realizes how bad it was and he's he actually put a like i think a public apology out for that show so, Oh, right. I read up with ASMR with Monkey Bum. <laughs> so, I did some ASMR the other week now with you guys, uh, you and Catley, <laughs> and you yeah. and you hated it. It was awful. <laughs> Funny. Uh, thankfully, no friends questions. You're right. There was no friends questions. Uh, I can add some in for you, Sean, if you want. Um, if, if you really missed it that much, uh, I said I love them, leave them. I'm enjoying chatting with them. I think Jess has gone off to uh, warm up some cookies, though. Oh, I went 
Just took the ice cream out of the freezer so that it's easier. Oh, so it can be, melt a little bit. Hmm. Um, fair enough. All right, Chef. Uh, set up for Rocket League. Uh, it's probably going to be about 20 minutes or so before we do some Rocket League because uh, yeah. I've got yeah, I've got some um, cookies to eat. I've got some uh, snacks. Like, Sean's like, no! Mm. Oh. Chocolate pastry. There we go. Well, I'm not jealous because we've got cookies and ice cream to eat. But otherwise, I would be. <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> thank you very much again, everybody. Congrats to Monkey Bum. Not that one. That one over there. Oh, did it wrong? Okay. Not that Monkey Bum. I'm not congratulating him. He failed. <laughs> the original Monkey Bum. Uh, well done to her and her uh, team of parents uh, <laughs> uh, in, in taking their top spot. Hopefully, um, she'll be back next week to have another go. And hopefully, I'll actually be able to get the quiz written and I won't be up till four o'clock in the morning doing so. So, thank you again. Oh, take care, bye. all. Let's sleep. <laughs> uh, well, this is true. Uh, thanks again, all. Take care. Like, subscribe, follow, and um, post hashtag Big Geek Quiz out on Twitter. Carol, keep playing games.